Marty, what was the name of the grocery store your mom went to growing up? Meat Farms. This guy's trash. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. We got a a, uh, a fucking unbelievable episode for you today. We just wrapped it up. We're recording a little intro here because we had the RU Garbage guys come through and Marty Mush popped on. And rather than just do like our usual shit where we're, 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 you know, we just recorded it all in one shot to keep the flow going. And God damn, is that fucking funny. They're, they're a funny crew. They they're really are. And I, and I think of it as like... You know, at this point, like we're 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 you know we're the OG podcasters, and I I think of when like um, comics tell stories of like yeah man like the old days at the cellar where like the lineup was like you know Chris Rock followed by Chappelle followed by da, 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 and like boy and I think like sometimes when you get the right crew on a podcast like this and it's two hours of just straight up hilarity, <laughs> I'm like man I, I I you know that what we just did was special like that was fucking <laughs> funny dude because those guys are just. The chemistry they have and the, the routine they run on people. It's like it's like LeBron and Wade throwing each other alley oops. It's unbelievable stuff. And then you throw Marty in the mix. I love watching <laughs> Marty. I love watching Marty Marty's do Marty's intro is ten out of ten. Uh, amazing. <laughs> and, and and Foley's Foley's reaction was one, you know, uh they they, they play the are you garbage game with him to determine if Marty Mush is garbage or not. Or as I said, how just how uh, garbage Mush is, because we know the answer there. When Foley was just like, all right, you know, it, it was it was unbelievable. So uh, we'll get into it here. Are you garbage? If you're not familiar with them, it's Kevin Ryan and H Foley. Uh, it's brought to you by uh, Manscaped. You got Bush? Think you'd be, you'd be garbage if you do. Yeah, I mean, really, at this point, you gotta keep your shit clean. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta. I could, I could use a trim right now. If I'm being honest. With yeah, you. yeah, I could trim it up. I, I sometimes I, I forget. I could take, I could take a fucking. Sometimes I forget a little bit, you know. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's been a little while. It, it's in like it's corner. like you remember in the shower and he's like, yes. you're like, oh, I wonder what I just hit. Like I'm just kind of soaping. I'm like, what was that? Oh, that's my fucking penis. <laughs> and the worst too is then uh, once you're all wet, you can't really use the clipper. You know yeah, what I mean? right. So right. it's like, so well, we're not. Well, we're done today. Exactly. No, I haven't used sh- I haven't used fucking soap in three showers because I keep forgetting to put it in after the shower, and then so I'll fucking because I don't want to get out of the shower soaking wet. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, I'll just get it next time. Three showers now. So you just rub it. Do you even rub or anything? I do like a little soap, oil, shampoo, a little flash oh, oh, on okay. me. Okay, okay. So you're still yeah. doing some. Uh, yeah, no, I thought I'm, you, I'm I thought doing you, a little cleansing. I thought you just I, had I got, water. Look, I got fucking. I got stuff I'm putting on my body. I don't even know what it is. Because there's so much shit in John, my shower John's, now. John's putting, like, lotion on Bro, it. like, I got loofahs all over the place. I'm just yeah. fucking, like, grabbing, like, fucking coffee beans, putting on a loofah, and it's, like, scrubbing myself. Those are two things I actually did this morning. Just so just so we know. <laughs> coffee beans on a like, loofah. It's like a coffee scrub or something like that. I'm like, this will fucking do it. I don't know. John's um, got some, like, like some Tylex, and he's, you bro, know, it's, it's supposed to be cleaning the shower, and instead he's cleaning himself with it. You should see our two shelves. We got two different shelves yeah, separated. Yeah, I'm sure. Mine, you got like a bar. Sh- yeah. shampoo, flashman conditioner, yep. bar of soap. Hers, That's the whole thing. There's a hundred items. Yo, there are fucking medieval torture things on that. Like, <laughs> it's just this fucking black thing full of spikes. I'm like, what does that do? He's like, you fucking scr- promotes hair growth or something. I'm like, it sounds like you're just ripping hair out of your head. It's got to replace itself. It's a whole fucking thing. My shower Thanks, is man. a disaster. I-, I like the girl's shower, though. I used to love. Uh, when 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 you got like close enough with a girl, you'd be taking showers at her place, and they got the body washes and the scented this and the loop for that and the exfoliating, and you use the the like shampoo that's all tingly and nice. I was like, this is much better than my like nine in one shampoo conditioner <laughs> face wash like the uh, uh, Drano. You know what I mean? It's all. Drano. I mean that that's that's living the dream, man. That I got on that oil of Olay body. What do they call it? Body. Did you just stop it? No. This is awesome. This is cool. This is like artistic. It's not artistic. <laughs> but this is what I got to do. I'm going to have to dig these out of here. I'm going to have to shave it down. If you're watching on the YouTube, John is just a child. If you're ever, if you're ever hearing like noises that bother you in your headphones or whatever, it's because John is just fucking around. Yeah. Anyway, if you got bush, <laughs> you got to trim it off, okay? And uh, that's where Manscaped comes in. They've got the Lawnmower 3.0, which is waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. Can use it but the I shower, feel yeah. like you got to have your shit dry if you're really, you know, zipping it. Z- 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 yeah. yeah, you got to have it fluffed. Probably, probably could condition it first. Yeah, oh, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe blow dry it, <laughs> fluff it out, and then trim it. 
Uh, and then on top of it, they've got the advanced skin safe um, ball deodorant and, and crop preserver. They've got the special boxers that you can wear that promote promote uh, moist, moisture wicking and uh, keep you uh, dry and sweat free and smell free while you're smooth after you get your trim on. Go to manscaped.com. Promo code KFC. Get 20% off with free shipping when you go to manscaped with a D at the end. Dot com. Promo code KFC. No bush. If it's 21 and you still got bush, that's a problem. Manscapes.com. Promo code KFC for my idiotic co-host over here. Let's get into it. Are you garbage with Marty Mush? All right, let's go. We got the are you garbage boys. <laughs> Kippy and uh, Foley are back uh, in person in the flesh, which is great. I, I This is... Uh, I just I did uh, Funk Master Flex. I did an interview. I saw that. Yeah, uh, in person though, it was weird. I was like, this is a little bit strange. I gotta like get my 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 sea legs back, if you will, like interview people in person. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's way it's, better in person. It is. You get the rhythm, also, the timing. But it's also like uh, it's just just an adjustment to get back into it because sure. when you're behind the computer, it's like no big deal. You yeah, know? you're just yelling at your you, screen. You can't mm-hmm. hit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Fidel <laughs> about. Dude, if this ends in blows, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> what do you think about this asshole's glasses? Yeah, it's a lot. It's they, a I mean, lot. they're they're relatively on brand for you, yeah, so it's like it makes, it makes if you if I walked in and you were wearing them, I'd have to be like, do we have to have an intervention? Absolutely. <laughs> but like he walked up, I'm like, love the shades, you know? <laughs> which is weird because like it, that's all just like because you know who we are and perception and shit. It's not like we look all that different, you know? Where it's of course, you know, it's like. But if I had that, I on, like how, asshole, how you had it on. You're cool. My thing is strong enough that like we don't, we haven't known each other that long. It's been about a year, right? Maybe <laughs> mm-hmm. give or take. Yeah, and it's yeah, like well, that's a long I time to dress, dress like an asshole, like a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You look like you steal art or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Crosby stills Nash and Feidelberg. <laughs> oh, Downs. You even look like worse. the bag- Downs what worse. The Downs yeah. worse. Yeah. The guy from uh, CSI. That, remember that? Oh yeah, that asshole. Remember oh, that? Horatio Kane? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know his name. You also look like the, the bad guy from Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait, it's not Horatio Kane. <laughs> oh, yeah, very much yeah. so. Dr. Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Robotnik. Yes. Dude, yes. The, uh, what was it? I did a thing, like a slow-mo video the other day. Someone asked me, to just came over to my desk. I was like, can you blow a raspberry in slow motion? And I was like, oh, you we're not disgusting. in slow motion. They, they was filming yeah. in slow-mo. And I did it, and then people were replying, everyone with Dr. Robotnik like laughing. Because as my <laughs> lips were going, like, it looks like a cartoon laughing. <laughs> That, I mean, that was, I, that's really that where was... I want to go. That's that's like my my goal in life is to just become just go a, full on a like human evil cartoon. Genius. Like I'm a yeah. I'm a live action movie of a douchebag cartoon. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like you it. Know, You're leaning, dropped... He leans into that a little bit. So you're yeah. getting very cartoonish. It works for older. a fat guy. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Bright colors, weird Bro, pattern. You, you Same thing. I, I couldn't pull this shirt off. Yeah. But Another for 150, him it looks I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually thought there 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 have been times where I thought for my for my career it would have been better if I just went full fat. Yeah. Like I'm the skinny fat guy. Like you know, it was, it was Dave, me, and Dan for a while. And Dan had he was bigger, larger than life with the mustache. He's a funny fat guy. And I was just the Average skinny guy. fat guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like so I'm not You're not I'm fat. You're in I'm shape. Skinny, guy. I, I'm skinny fat. Like no, I mean, bro, don't say I, I, that. I swear to God I would rather be Then what fat am I? Than fucking like Pluto? Me. What the <laughs> fuck? Bro, I mean, but, yeah. like you just are a bigger guy where like if with I look okay with clothes and then I take my shirt off, like and it's like, oh yikes. You're yeah. just so I'm a surprise. You, people know what you're getting into when you're a bigger guy. <laughs> sure, I, everything's I out take on the, the table. Shirt off with him. And it's just like lumpy and and you know handily. Kevin's you know? like one of those things that are like, like it's like uh, I can't. Okay, even you, think know of never, what, you know what? You know what? Kevin's like uh, like uh, what do you call it? The, like um, like the cinnamon rolls. Where like it's very tautly wrapped, and then once you get it a it's little a unwrapped, it pops open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the Pillsbury. That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm like? I'm, has... like I'm like when you tie the filet mignon with the rope. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you snip it, and it just kind of unravels. You know? When you Kevin take Kevin's shirt off, it makes a pop. Yeah, like it a... sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's the Pillsbury can. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant the actual roll. No, no, no. The like can. the can. Oh, like the... Yeah. That was that was like fireworks when you were a kid. When you pop one of those fucking things. Dude, all the kids. Came out into the kitchen for that. It was like, "Yo, mom, when are you gonna open yeah, up the Billsberry?" I have a garbaggio story. <laughs> I'm sure you Recently. do because you're trash. <laughs> but we saw you eating a spoonful of peanut butter last night, so I don't know where this is gonna go. What? They got a problem with me eating spoonfuls of peanut butter. No, it was I'm just all, weird, I'm on man. board with it. And it was You're, also very satisfying. You are weird with it? It was just, little chocolate chips or something. You went right in just fucking peanut butter. Boom. I, I'll do that for dinner. Yeah? yeah. I'll have oh, like yeah. six scoops. I can't... Yeah. 
I, 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 yeah, look, I'm on you board. Gotta, you, you don't you don't do spoonfuls of peanut butter? Nah, I don't, I don't like peanut butter like that. I like peanut butter and chocolate, but like I'm not. I, I had a friend one time who can't like, take you seriously. Know, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you kill Avengers, <laughs> dude. Either that or he's like a like a cartographer. You know? yeah. Yeah. Are those like, prescription? What? No, I literally opened oh, them. Oh, the, the, one, one. <laughs> the one is a look. This is shout out to Movement Watches. NBMT.com slash KFC. Yeah, that's right. The um. Real weird. Man. I had a friend who would, um, she would dip a spoon into peanut butter and get a huge glob, and then dip and it in the chocolate chips. Would, she would dip that into a bag of peanut uh, popcorn, mm. and then she would ah. like, make like lollipop. And that's popcorn. okay, but I that's can't not do... a bad idea. It was uh, yeah, it's got a little because the straight peanut butter has it this, needs something. It does. It's just it's like uh, that's how they fucking got Mr. Ed to look like he was fucking. Yeah, talking. I know. Yeah, yeah. Put that right, just here. That's what I do with him on the podcast sometimes. <laughs> When his sugar gets low, I just throw some fucking some jiff in there. Well, I, I was also told I'm looking at the replies last. Uh, somebody said I, I put up the so for people who don't know I put up I couldn't sleep last night so like 3 a.m. I open up a fresh jar of Skippy that fresh when it's like dude the, the oh, seal on that thing it's like fucking it's like a brand new car. It's great. I scooped that. I, I compared it to when you get your your driveway paved and you got fresh pavements <laughs> and rollerblades, which was a know? perfect analogy by the way. <laughs> or when the ice gets zambonied, you know, it's just smooth. <laughs> So I scoop it out and I eat it, and then then I get people saying that's some white people shit. I'm like, is peanut butter white people shit? And I guess it's garbage now. I don't know. I thought peanut butter was totally. Fine. I mean, well, it's definitely well, not fucking. Dude, eating anything out of the jar is not classic, sure. right? Let so me it's ask like, you this. It leans garbage. Yeah. I'm yeah. on board with it. I yeah. like it. I do it. But it's you know. Was there an open container also in the house? No, it's fresh because I well I ate the there, last one. So there there wasn't. Not like you had one in the one somewhere else. I mean, and I, you skipped that one and went right to the fresh one. Oh, I. I I just happen to not, but I will do that no problem. Okay. No questions asked. Yeah, that's pretty I do that. Yeah, yeah. I do that very You're opening often. two peanut butters. What oh, the fuck? Oh, 99. This is very rare that I will fully finish a jar and open a new one. I happen to do that. I've got two going at all times. It's like Really? <laughs> almost that's always. chaos. How do you yeah, so, do you Do you have like a fucking creamy and a No, it's just, a it's just like, a, I don't know. It's just like I'll have one in the kitchen, and then I buy a new one. I open that one. I don't know. Are you just... fucking Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso leaves one on the on Yeah, the, just on grab a table, finger. Just grab a finger full. And you I mean, know what? Uh. If it was chunky, it would have been a little bit classier. Because at least the chunky's got a little nah, bit of I peanuts fucking, in I there. reject that notion. Yes, thank you. I, I reject the Feidelberg notion has that, the floor. That well, garbage. Gentlemen, that, excuse me? That, <laughs> the, uh... that adding a texture to beverages or foods makes it like... I, I think people like pulp? widely regard pulp as like a classier orange juice. No. Yeah, rejected. No. No, no, I don't stand for it. What about boba tea? Of, Drink like, that with the little with the little uh, things in the bottom. What is? What, excuse me. Put the t- uh, tapioca. What's it called? Bu- bubble tea. Bubble tea? Yeah. Did you say boba I thought it was called bubble. <laughs> I've never heard of bubble tea. Sounds like a fucking medicine. I've never heard of bubble tea. I feel like I'm stroking no. out. I don't know any of the words he's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boba tea and tapioca? Yeah, it sounds exactly. Sounds like a fucking, like an old tapioca. 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 There's You guys get Mr. a couple of thousand tapioca. fucking Patreons. We're talking about bubble tea tapioca? <laughs> oh, buddy, we're new money. <laughs> <Yeah>. For sure. <laughs> I don't know any Jeez. of these I just bought a 2021 Kia. God, Leased it's it, like but Tracy still. Tracy Morgan and fucking 30 Rock joking about how you eat lobster in St. Bart's. What are you guys talking about over here? I'm currently renting two Spider-Man. Monkeys in my apartment. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't gun to my head if you asked me what boba tea and tapioca is. I have no, no idea. It's it's bubble tea. Tea. He said bubble tea. I thought it was I don't even know what that is. If they sell it like the, it's like the corner store, it's like uh, it's an Fellas, Asian drink. Back me up. <laughs> yeah. well, that's why I don't know. Boba. Yeah. It is boba. And it has little tapioca balls in it. Yeah. So when you drink the tea, you suck in a little tapioca ball. It sounds it awful. It gives a little that more texture. Terrible. It sounds like it's I was on board until you said pudding. I'm, yeah. right, I'm, I would think that like in the peanut butter world, like smooth and creamy is classy, not like this chunky, we leave the peanuts in. It's like lumpy chunky mashed potatoes. Chunky gives you a little more. Do you like lumpy mashed potatoes? Also, Sometimes. Yeah, I, I like a chunk of my mashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Home style, it's called. Yeah, I like a little, 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 little skin in it. My, yeah, my, my, little skin's my, not bad. Like I don't mind your skin. I'm not an asshole. But a chunk, but like, yeah, like you just didn't do a good job with them now. Somebody posted the other day. I can't remember who it was. I think it was somebody famous about uh, goobers, the peanut butter and jelly mixed together. Yeah, uh, that was one of our original questions. Yeah, that that actually have peanut butter and jelly in the same the, jar Miro, is like Miro was talking about that. This is Miro. Yeah, it was. yes, yeah, he yeah, said yeah, that yeah. he eats it like straight up, and that it was one of the most polarizing tweets he ever had. It. Some people hate it. Some people swear it's by it. D- I had bottom of the barrel time. dirt bag shit. That's yeah, okay, but ridiculous. is it above or below like green ketchup? 
Mm, that's garbage. It's not even the same category. That's a classy operation. Goobers. <laughs> remember when you were a kid? That was like spotting Michael Jackson in the grocery store when you were a little kid. No. We never got that. It was always more well, expensive. That, that's a great idea in theory. You know, it's what in he's theory, yes. Like, on paper, I can together, get behind like, it. Yeah, like, but, let's give it a whirl. But. but it just doesn't. The texture's not right. The that would make more right. sense than straight peanut butter. I'm sorry. To eat uh, that with a spoon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now, if you had a celery you. stick. <laughs> yeah, that's what's A couple ridiculous. ants on a log? <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, now you're living. That's, that's what's ridiculous. Now, now you're talking final butter's language. Yeah. A spoonful of peanut butter, by the way, is the perfect, like, because, it, you know, there is some protein and some substance to it's it right here. Like you're in between meals or you need a sweet snack too. on the go or something. And you got to have some milk on deck too, though. I got to. So I I, I, I ate about two scoops of that and then I just chugged from the from the from the milk, you know, right from the carton. Really? Oh, Dude, yeah. I Plas- like the plastic sounds- jug? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah. gallon jug. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like something that I would do now because I've I've lately I've run into an issue. I was actually talking about it this morning, where I I started smoking a lot before bed. Just because I can't sleep anymore. Smoking weed or smoking cigarettes? Smoking weed. Okay. No, By the rip- looks of the glasses, it's crack. <laughs> I, just, I just rip a couple fucking Marlboro Reds out the window. <laughs> Hit the menthols before I go to sleep. I like Claire Underwood. I have a yeah. glass of wine and yeah. a couple fucking He's already reds. under the covers. Yeah. At your over. bedside, just smoking in bed. That's a real garbage. Table. <laughs> but the... Uh, but the um, you must be a force it, when you're high when, with the munchies, man. But, like, dude, I, right, but I fall asleep right away. And then I wake, wake up. up. Yeah, me too. And I guess I sleepwalk. And I wake up with just like... Chips in my bed. I was saying this on the podcast the other day where like, I'll fall asleep on like peanut butter cups and I'll wake up and they'll just be melted in my bed. It's like a nine year old's dream yeah. <laughs> to wake up Dude, covered in chocolate. Up, I woke up He's this got morning pockets with, on the side of his I bed. I got pockets. I, leave, I, I stuff those with candy before I go to bed. Like the sheets have what? like sheets built have in pocket pockets. In so it's like dip tin. Uh, some peanut butter Dude. cups and like a and like, fucking and like weed know. pen, and I'll, yeah. and I'll do a handful, of, a handful of frozen sour patch kids in there too. But I'll wake You're up like a forty year old, eight year old. You are, you are a <laughs> fucking <laughs> unicorn, man. <laughs> it is. I, my life is amazing. It's on. Like, I just go home, I yeah. watch really, TV really. and eat candy. <laughs> and it's, everybody you know, wants to be you. It's <laughs> like it is lit, like it's. I made a promise when I was a kid that I would I was never, never going to grow up. I was never going to grow Peter up. Fucking and man. I was going to play with my GI Joes and my and my parents were never going to get to kick me out of my house. And I was going to live in my fucking tree house and that's what I was going to do. And the the kicking out of the house happened. Everything else I've hold, I've held you, true. You to. just you just like, pay rent for a tree house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a nicer tree house at yeah. this point. <laughs> but like this morning I woke up with a fucking like not just the bag. I had the, the chips had fallen out. So I woke up in bed with jalapeno kettle cooked chips. And they were everywhere, crumbled and crushed. Kettle cook's a classy chip, though. I'll give you <laughs> Very that. Very classy. You're not, if you're going to sleep in potato chips, it's got to be kettle cook. And the jalapenos are fucking yeah. a class. Yeah, what well, well, was it, Deep River, or what, what, what was the brand? Yeah, I think it's Deep River. Where nice. It's like the green and the, like, the lighter green. I That's prefer, the real deal. Don't fall the, for uh, Hal's. What's the other one? No, what's the other one, though? I like the sea salt and cracked pepper from... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, I think it's the same brand. The one, no, though. No, Cape Cod? You talking about Cape Cod? The OG? That's the original. Sea salt and cracked pepper. Oh, but those will tear your mouth up real good. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, up real bad. Like eating yeah. glass. And then I had a bunch of Sour Patch Kids and a bunch of whatever, and I was like, like when did I fucking do any of this? My girl, was like, you were making so much noise in the kitchen last night. Got the blender going. No and recollection shit. of any of it. There's a but... girlfriend involved in this. I get yelled at if I leave the TV on. <laughs> yeah. If I woke up with a bag we of Fritos her, she's next to me. That poor girl. We met her at his yeah, apartment. You've been in the house. And where yeah. do you where do you get the fucking where do you get the sheets with the pockets oh, on the side? I don't know. I can. Yeah, I'll get to the bottom of it. <laughs> no, he I'm doesn't not. need food in bed. We're trying to get him to lose weight. Airbags. <laughs> we don't need him eating and sleeping at the same time. Uh, so, so my real garbage move though, and this is something we did a long time ago, and it came back to me. Um, so the Pillsbury. Sure. My mom, this is not. We're not even talking about the crescent rolls. We're talking about the like the dinner rolls, not sure. not grands, but the smaller size, just the round rolls. Mm-hmm. We just pop those in the microwave. Oh, what, <laughs> dude? No way. So, is that even like? I was gonna say legal, but is that even? <laughs> is that like rec- that's not a that's not an option, is Don't it? Don't take your kids so, for that in it Alabama. Can't be an option. <laughs> Put them in the microwave for like I, I don't even remember how many seconds, but you got to eat them so fast because they harden up. Like when they hit the air, Dude. it's so hard. So so what we, is this, a fucking like a food version of a good Jaeger? Oh, not Jaeger bomb of a uh, Irish car bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get yeah. it before Colonel. Yeah. Colonel, get Colonel yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to be on the clock in Thanksgiving. I'm trying to fucking relax here. You take them out. You have to pull them off the paper plate because paper plate's still garbage. They're like stuck to the paper. Jesus. You put like a quick little rub of butter on them and you got to eat them. We call them soft rolls. So I hadn't had. I this. call it garbage. Yeah. <laughs> soft so rolls I, for I ten had, fucking seconds. I hadn't done yeah, this in the... in thirty years. I was only having them like a little kid. So the other day, I made them. I just threw. And these were the crescent rolls. So because usually they, at least they were round. The crescent rolls, it's like 
all over the place. So you got to do a little work anyways. on them. You got to twist them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but I just, and then on top of it, oh I just God. got a little curious, and I just straight ate the shit raw. What? Yeah. How was it? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it saves you a minute in the microwave. Too, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking let's go. Direct to sender. I mean, Amazon yeah, this big, thing. Like, uh, how, I mean, I'm sure everyone can get, get on board with like licking the brownie batter. Did you do that as a kid? Yeah. 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 I mean, what this is America. Asshole. What the fuck? <laughs> right. But I, so when I did that as a kid, my mom would give us the bowl after she poured it in the pan. That was and, the best thing about being a kid. And, and there's like, but there's, there was just like little streaks left. If you've ever made brownies as an adult, I was like, well, I'm just going to eat as much of the batter as I want. Sure. So I was just eating it like a fucking bowl, you know? Just, just straight salmonella, salmonella baby, yeah. you know? Yeah, what are the, what's the ruling on that? Because you were, my mom was always like, ah, well, it's fine. I'm like, well, there is eggs in it, and I'm salmonella eating it. Salmonella is a fucking myth. It's an, it's, it's an old wives' tale. It really yeah. is, man. E. coli I never met anybody real. with it. I've eaten the... Didn't you have E. coli? I, I've yeah. had E. coli. Yeah, remember e. coli, you got it on, like, Christmas or something. E. coli, we were coli I can it. vouch for, real. <laughs> e. Everything e. checks out on that. You told him how to eat it. Yo, the best of that was the... So I go to the doctors, and... um where they're like, you know, have you had? I, they're like, they're, clearly you have E. coli. Like we're just, just like we'll look you up and down once. <laughs> just based on the glasses, diagnosis. that's E. coli. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, have you eaten any raw meats or anything like that? Have you been to the Nile River any time recently? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just go, and I'm like, are you a treasure hunter by any chance, sir? <laughs> I'm in fifth grade, and I think I'm gonna get in trouble for eating raw meat. And I'm like, no, 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 I, I haven't. And my mom just sitting in the course. She goes, yeah, yes. Oh. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? And the doctor's like, what do you mean? And she's like. I was cooking a meat the other day, and it just—it was bad. It was bad meat for sure. Polly she she, just, she just whipped it up anyway. American chop suey just threw it in. Oh, you have told it. us this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She didn't care. Plus, American chop suey, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, oh, American chop suey is good stuff. I don't know what that means. It's a New England dish. Gave you E. coli. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you want to clean yourself? You really ruined yeah. your Christmas and arguably your life mentally <laughs> after that. I don't think you ever bounce dish. back from that. No, yeah. American chop suey is like it's—I mean, it's basically just like fucking pasta and hamburger meat. American you are a strange kid. Yeah. <laughs> you really are, man. I'm gonna see exactly what it is. As you guys have gotten new money, like we were saying, the you know the the you're up to like 1,500 patrons. We're talking like 10k a month rolling in. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. whoa. Got the fucking IRS. Whoa, 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 who do you work for? What the fuck, this guy? No, yeah, we're doing all, yeah, we're doing well. Yeah, I'm, are, are I'm you, on a fixed uh, income here. <laughs> this guy's collecting a check every. I work for the city. <laughs> I, I just, uh, we're getting you know, there. we're doing like, well. Like when I started at Barstool, I was still an accountant and then I was transitioning out. So I did, I had this whole uh, shtick of like the cube monkeys working in, in corporate world. I could relate to that. A lot, of, I knew a lot of the stories because I was living that life. You know, as 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 you leave the garbage life behind, sure. can you really be the garbaggio guys, you know? Well, it, it really, it, it's, the money, this is what we found out, yeah. money doesn't, money only emphasizes the garbage. Right. Right? It's like, the people like, that win the lottery, mm -hmm. they're not, like, investing. Become, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. emphasizes what you really are. Hence, like, uh, I grew up, we had some money in the 90s, and then, like, it was like, money would come and go, kind of. Yeah. So we had some money. And gambler? It, what? <laughs> no, I just, re just, just, table, just so really bad at business. Uh, <laughs> so, like, money would come and go, and we would, like, it just showed you we didn't know how to fucking spend yes. it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. my dad would be like, "Oh, I got a, I got the brand new, you know, Lincoln Navigator," and then like three weeks later they repossessed it. And it's like, oh, you're just, <laughs> this, just this just highlights how garbage we really are. There, uh, Tim Dillon did an episode, uh, many episodes, talking just about how you know uh, the Irish just don't. We don't have the ability. They're to dirty, keep money. dirty people. It just burns a hole in our pocket. You know, he was talking about how his father would be giving away steak dinners to people like, you know, like he was, you know, Rockefeller. And he's sure. Like, Dad, we don't have the money. Yeah. yeah, yeah if yeah. I have 500 bucks, like literally in my account, I'm rich for the night. <laughs> yeah. The money's and, and you're going to end the night with not $500 with in your account. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then wake up the next morning and feel guilty about what I did and this, yeah, that, and the other yeah. thing. Um, the money's really going to open up more worlds to the garbage like Kevin said like yeah. Kevin's saying like I'll be able to paint my masterpiece really soon <laughs> yeah well, so, I mean he's like, not gonna starting, start I'm, wearing instead like... of doing laundry I'm just starting to buy new clothes <laughs> yeah, oh you're going out <laughs> with it oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the brand new shirts yeah, I, I got little, 10 brand new Mariah shirts Carey I'm cool. never wore something <laughs> twice yeah. you know? yeah. in order to get him come to record an episode I have to give him a new, fair, new pair of Air Forces every time it's, <laughs> his, it's in his contract no, but so wait, so you're saying, you're, you, you, I cut you off there, you, your sure. father was making the money, the... the yeah, we were doing all yeah. right, and then, like, it would just come and go, and then, yeah. like, it just, like, bad purchases, and, like, never say, like, it just really showed, like... So you're yo-yoing between garbage and money, you know, money, no Yeah, it was money, like, I walked in it. both worlds, like, yeah. I went to school with all these kids, like, at times, I went to school with all these kids, it was, like, my neighborhood, my neighbor, my area was, like, new money, it was, like, doctors and lawyers, and then, like... 
people who own like plumbing contracting companies right. like us. Like so right. like all my friends, all their parents were like dirt balls that owned uh construction companies. Yeah. Right. And like we didn't really fraternize with the doctors and the lawyers. It was just two different worlds. Right. right. So that's right. what I'm I'm used to like, you know, we still go on vacation and like thirty of us stay in a house because it's like cheaper that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> like let me ask you this, since since as Irish we don't really understand a lot of this stuff. What do you need to have, let's say, in your bank accounts to go to bed at night comfortably where you would be panicked? Like, if you had zero in your savings, would you be able to sleep at night? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, like, right now, I I, I am doing like what the normal so people much do. worse now with okay. money than I was, was when I was, like, mid-20s just because of, like, I, I was I'm obviously making more money, but I had just way more bills. Uh -huh. So, like... Now, I mean, I go, I don't go to bed at night. I just panic about money all day, yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and the number of dollars is higher, but the number of money coming out, you know. Sure, yeah. When yeah. I was like twenty, I was twenty five. I was working as an accountant, and Barstool was giving me under the table money. I mean, I was like, I was Rockefeller. It was oh, amazing. Dude. You know? And <laughs> now I'm making a, little bit of a, a lot more money, but you know, two kids. Yeah, divorce, price of poker bills. goes up. Yeah. 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 See, I think I used to be playing, you know, five ten, and now I'm playing, you know, fifty hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so and I and my bills have gone up at a much faster rate than the salary. Has. Of course, so, but that's like it's also my own fault. Yeah, you, know, well, so. you don't have married. Like you are you yeah. just got engaged, right? Or you get married? I'm married. You're married. I've yeah, been married mistake. a year. Mistake. No, she's yeah, got money. <laughs> she she paid for the studio. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I yeah, see yeah, what's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I married up. Yeah. We got, little, we got some international funds, you know what I mean? European yeah. investors. Euro, that's what he I, likes because she's from Germany. He's like, we got a European investor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, meanwhile, she could pull the fucking Whoa. card and we're screwed. Uh, <laughs> I, that's amazing. I think I could go to bed with 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I listen, think that's both have, in debt. I don't have like, bills. We, like, right. we, we, I don't have a bill. That's the real bill. difference. I pay rent and that's it. I don't have bills. Yeah. That's the real difference. Garbage yeah. can go to bed. Like, I can go to bed with... Uh, Negative two hundred dollars in my checking account. Knowing a couple of bills are going to hit the next day, I got six parking tickets. I'd sleep like a baby, You're like a Dude. fucking baby. like a baby. Dude. And I think that's because, like, because in the was born like born into it like Bane. Like I was born into the garbage. Dude, yeah. I used to when we were early barstool days. I would get paid four hundred bucks a month. And I would fucking use that debit card until it got to a dollar left. <laughs> then I'd go to an ATM, withdraw two hundred because they'd still. I've done that too. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. move. Uh, that's right? the yeah. great move, right? And so I would have. Learn, you would, would have strategically. Oh, you would strategically overdraw. Overdraft, so if yes. you know right. you're gonna, if you're over, if you're gonna overdraft. You can't get hit four different times because you're getting hit for the 27 or 32, yeah. whatever your banking institution a charges you. A bullet's a bullet. Take that so one. Yeah. That's a big one. Shot. So I would take out 400 and be like, well, I'm at least good till my next direct deposit. <laughs> right. So I'd be like, this is the 400 will get me so through the week. I, I'm going to go with 400, 400 bucks overdraft. at 32 Dude. bucks. I'll take that yeah. all day long. Easy. What's the move you Easy did one long. night at... Uh, that like off the wagon or something like that in the village where you had you had your debit card and they were running a tab and then you ran across the street and took money out or something like that. Yeah, it was that same situation. It was I knew I was going to overdraw, so I had a tab open. Let's say like I had let's say I had a hundred or like it was less. Say I had twenty bucks on my uh, in your account in my account. I opened up a tab knowing that they don't swipe it until the end. So I'm like, this $20, <laughs> if I spend a hundred, on them. Buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, they're not. It's not going to process until I close out the tab. So what I did, I was like, hey, man, I got to run across. I'm, I'm going to pay. So I ran across, and I did that. I oh, I withdrew like 400 bucks, only having 20, then went and paid cash. So that so the so the the bar tab didn't overdraft me. I at least got four hundred mm -hmm, cash, mm -hmm. uh, and at, I'm that, like I'm going to overdraft. Yeah, strategically overdraft. Yes. Yeah, let me get let me at least get you cash. You in had a scam. A little right? walking around money. You know what I mean? You had like a prepaid card. Or I would do. Right? Oh great. come on, Back that was most of college, like, baby. When like the American Expresses like came out, it was like fifty bucks on the American Express, and like people didn't really catch on yet that it wasn't a real American Express. Sure. So I'd go in there with like a dollar on that, yeah. and I wouldn't like fucking start living like a Rockefeller, being like, be like oh, you give me like the fucking. You gotta top fly under the radar a little bit. I'm still bit. fucking just drinking regular, but then I'd just split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. And I've spent my fucking life since then making it up to the service industry. So I apologize. Yeah. I fucking give big fat fucking tips now. But those people got boned a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so, so they, they, they were just taking American Express thinking, like, all right, I'll run this at the end of the night, not realizing that it's a prepaid fake It was a car prepaid car with like two bucks left. And then they'd be like, where's that fuck? Oh, he's gone. There, there, there's nothing more classy, more sophisticated, more stylish in the eyes of somebody who's trash than an American Express car. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I Dude, I so used to uh, I used to work at a law firm. My day job was I worked at a law firm in Midtown, and they would get they spent so much money. It was like a huge like I mean, do they charge like eighteen hundred dollars an hour? They yeah, represented international yeah. billionaires were their right, only client. It was bananas. Christ. 
So what the fuck are you doing hiring you? Yeah, exactly. I don't know how I got the job, Isn't but I fucking for, I like, kept it for yeah, sure. Yeah. Dude, I like well, I've, I got so like in the world. I was like on the phone with like Tokyo. I'm like, I need a million in the accounts, Dad. And, like, <laughs> hang up, and at one point I'm like, who the fuck am I? <laughs> Meanwhile, I have no, I'm overdrafting my bank, you know, my <laughs> bank card. Um, but they uh, that's how that was our Christmas bonuses. They would give us because for every like you know thousand dollars they spent with American Express corporate card, they got a fifty dollar gift card or whatever. But isn't that they, trashy? You know? Don't you think that's so trashy? So they t- that my my thing my uh, holiday bonus every year was like twenty fifty dollar gift cards or whatever, right, right. or like ten fifty dollars. Twenty fifty dollars. They give so like a big envelope of all fifty dollar cards. I'm like, well, you guys, didn't, this isn't really even your money. You're just giving yeah. me free money. You fuck. But I'll take. You got to spread a meal for yourself over several cards. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's pretty fucking trash. But dude, you if I wasn't out over here, three ways, <laughs> sir, you're just sitting at the table alone. Yeah, yeah. Can, you three cards? can you I put one the, jalapeno yeah. popper on this card? I think, I think there's one jalapeno nine, popper there's on this card. There's nine fifty three on this one. I think yeah. this one's full. Uh, that's trash. But I, dude, for those like two weeks after I got that, I was like living like a king. Yeah. Taxis, ooh, yeah. like I was just fucking, you know, swiping a new card every time. Dude, isn't there just like I, I, obviously the goal in life is to get rich and have tons of money, but I love scheming and scamming. <laughs> I, I just love. Ain't like, nothing better, baby. I used to, we used to take a cab back from the city all the way back to Fordham. And we don't we don't have to trick them because they don't want to go all the way back to the Bronx, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So or, or like oh, well, I, we used to try to go. We, I'd have to get back to Pelham, and I would tell them Pelham Bay because that's closer. And a little go vague, yeah, Bay, yeah, you know? yeah. I keep but, going, but keep we, going. We, we, a couple no, blocks more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's like twenty miles out of town, right? <laughs> but we, I'd get them to go to 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 the Bronx, and then I'd have them pull into this gas station where you could run through like the Quickie Mart. There was mm-hmm. a back door, and then right onto campus. And like you know, it was just a scumbag move to fuck over that candy for the night. But, but it was a a fifty dollar cab back in the city, and we're shit faced, and we don't have any money. And then we like one two three run, and we're yeah, running, yeah, and we're yeah. scheming. And the guys yelling at us and trying to chase us down, and we get onto campus, and we're in the wind. And I just like that's awesome. Yeah, I just, I just dude, love it's being stupid a drunk dirt shit. Ball. It's, yeah, I tried to yeah. do that once, and it was kind of Got a misunderstanding. It, yeah, dude, <laughs> it was bad. It was it wasn't that long ago. It was like a couple years ago. But I could have. Oh no! It was just like Holy. less than a year ago. <laughs> I know this story, and it was bad. It was Thursday night. Right, listen, <laughs> let's change some dates and names. Protect the innocent <laughs> and the guilty. But uh, I could have swore I had money on my card, right? And I put it in. It was pre-pandemic. Okay, maybe during the pandemic. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. But I, I put my card in, and it kept saying decline. But I know I had money, and the guy kind of started yelling at me and stuff like that. And I, I was fucking hammered. What well, like, was also, I, mean, I remember hammered. being like, it said processing, but like the transaction kind of yeah. came, and he was just like, I'm not re, like I don't have enough money to re-swipe no, this. So yeah. like, this is like, here's my if number. It's going yeah, through. It's, I thought yeah. I, this is now your problem, but right. I kind of thought part. he was trying to rip me off. To be honest with you, so I just get out of the car and I start fucking running. Right, because he starts chasing me. Fully. But here's the I thing: I cannot even imagine watching you run down. Well, the here's the thing, back. man. I am not the like athlete I used to be. <laughs> right. Like a bowling ball, just so, rolling down, like like the big stone in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Just I think down. I've, I've seen, seen the big children man. running out of the way. I think I'm being real slick, right? Like I'm fucking behind the car. I fucking sprint down this street. I sprint down this street, and then I see like a fucking clear opening straight up to the up up to where my apartment is. Make a left, and I'm inside. So I'm bolting up this street. And this guy all of a sudden is is next to me, going backwards, <laughs> real slow, with the door open, just laughing at me. <laughs> wow! Literally, fucking just <laughs> laughing at me. Like, ah! <laughs> and then like wheels around. Oh man! That <laughs> is an unbelievable visual. Oh, dude! The, the, the thought that you had the the you know, I was the, cooking too, like, baby. That's the twenty. The ten. The five. Oh, yeah. the like, I, I would give me a Kevin Harlan call oh, totally running man. away from the... A lot of people say he's lost a step, but I don't see it here, folks. The kids are moving down the street. You also get to a certain amount of beers where you're like, I, I got can do it. I, can do I it. got one more good one yeah. left in me. Let me fucking hit the boosters and I'm out. You know what I've man. noticed? I've seen this uh, every time we, there's like a viral video of like, it's usually two old women who try to like have a foot race. You ever, you ever seen no. these things? They're, all, they're on reels and TikToks. It's always like like two older black ladies at like a, a family reunion or whatever, and they're for whatever reason they're having foot races. There's, this and, cannot and they, be as popular as you. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> older black women at family <laughs> cookouts. I mean, he's picking a very <laughs> small yeah, section <laughs> of the larger population. Yeah, but yeah. When, when the when and they just <laughs> they try to go. It's like they you know, cannot, yeah. Cannot. They well, take two steps and they go down. And they go down every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like. 
you, you at at what age do you just realize like I can't even I can't run anymore? Like For, I can't, it's forty five. It's forty five. That was the I, night. I have a new rule that I've instituted in the past couple of months. I don't leave the ground anymore. I no jumping. Jump. I don't. I will not leave. That's the good. Earth. That's good. Like yeah. it's just. You know, and, and forget about, like, I play Zog sports on the weekend. I'm playing soccer. I'm cutting. You're going to blow out your knee. Sure. You're going to need ACL surgery. And you're going to miss, like, six to eight months. You're going to blow out your shoulder playing fucking softball. Mm -hmm. Or uh, just, you know, I jump off a fucking I'm definitely, table. Or I go on a foot race at a fucking yeah. family reunion. And, yeah. you get and hurt. I next thing you know, you're on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm definitely a fall risk. 100%. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. you break your hip or something, brother. We're oh, in I'm going to have to put him down, dude. Yeah. It's, a, it's like, it's yeah. going to be like, we're going to put a sheet over him. Like a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just yeah. fucking. Yeah. Pew, pew. They tell me I'm, I'm going, going to a farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to a farm. It's going to be nice. I, There's I fucking, other fat guys there. I, I was in Colombia and we went, we're like, we're sitting on the beach in Colombia and I'm like, you know, I got a couple in me. The Siggies are going. It's like, you know, next thing, it's, it's like, you know, dollar beers or whatever on this like little hut on the beach and I'm, I'm fucking torched. And after, like, two beers, these guys come along on this little boat, like a fucking small wooden skiff, kind of, with, like, just, like, the rear motor, like a crabbing yeah. boat. Yeah. And they're like, oh, wakeboarding, water skiing. And I'm like, I can fucking wakeboard. No. Get I the fucking fuck know it. out no. of here. Dude, Never. so, like, they go no. around, and an hour later, I'm, like, four more deep, six more deep. And I'm at this point, I'm, like, fucking 18 beers deep. And I'm, like, <laughs> sun-kissed. I'm torched. I'm sweating. I'm, like, I'm going to do it. They got no English. Give me I the got hand no glider. Spanish. Dude, I'm just getting towed. I, I fucking pulled something, and it cracked. And I can crack it, like, three times a day. Really? I uncrack it. I thought all, I was, like, I broke my sternum, my yeah. ribs, everything's done. Your sternum. And it's still fucked me up. Sternum? That's well, like, like yeah, in wrestling yeah, where he's yeah, making his yeah. solar plexus. Oh, solar. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, even yeah, take yeah. baths anymore. I'm not fucking <laughs> risking it. Because oh, that... I haven't taken a bath since my dick got full size. <laughs> really? I'm a big... <laughs> just because like, it just floats guy. and you're like, that's the most it goes? Dude, you, made, you made it sound like it couldn't fit in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big tubby time guy. Dude. Really? Dude, I, I, I'll read a book. I'll yeah. get high like beer, some wine. Yeah. Well, that's... Did you build your own apartment? I can't We have a jacuzzi. I can't shower See, in a fucking it, Manhattan. You, I'm sorry, you do, bath. The, 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 the tubs in Manhattan and New York City are tough. Tough. They're tough. We, gotta, we live uptown, so we have a bigger, times. our yeah. apartment's bigger because it's uptown. Yeah. So they're like, well, we well, are, so he's got the sugar mama paying for it. Let's yeah, yeah. We, we, we do all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. We got a hot tub in the, be, in the bedroom. Yeah, she, like, really? Really? No, no. No. <laughs> That's how trash he is. He's like, holy shit. I was like, come on. He's dating like Jennifer Bezos or some shit. We're going to find out that she's fucking. Oh, that guy worked. I worked out for that guy. He was like a teacher, huh? He was like a gym teacher. Unbelievable! Like, wow. That is that is the dream. Yes, the absolute Absolutely. dream. Absolutely. The only thing that sucks is I think he's in a situation where, like, to look like a good guy, he's got to keep working. Like, I wouldn't want to. I would want to uh, be able to sense, be. But I would be that's, out. That's, oh I, I, my that's god! When you make a foundation or I'd something. I'd pick like three well. kids and Do walk out the, the door. Foundation Get the fuck is, out of that's here. That's like the fucking uh, that's, the rich person version of a no-show job. Yeah, that's yeah, the, right? like, the director, <laughs> like the like the <laughs> fucking I'm, I'm on, on the board. board. <laughs> so, you, so you get five grand a month or whatever. I'm on the board for like you know like uh, like. Games for tots, and we get we we, like, we supply you with like basketballs and footballs yeah. in, the, in the in like the hood. It's like yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Sitting yeah, out yeah, in yeah. front of the Guggenheim with a couple lawn chairs. <laughs> like, <laughs> Paulie Walnut sitting next to you. <laughs> but no, I knew I was done athletically that night, honestly, because when I ran into the my apartment, as soon as I got into like where I couldn't see, I just dropped. Like, this was the first time in my life where I was not in control of my body, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get up. That could like have been it for Uncle Foley. Dude, I was, I, mean, I was like, trying to get up, and, like, my legs wouldn't work. And I was just like, and I thought this guy I was fucking had, closing like, in on me. or a heart yeah, attack yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. It was bad. <laughs> How long had he uh, ran for? Uh, maybe 35 seconds, something like that. <laughs> well, so yeah. about 12 and feet. I, fe I felt so bad the next day that I, I, I tracked the guy down, and I ended up paying, paying, the, paying the thing. You tracked him down? Yeah, I tracked him down. How? So when he was laughing at you and, and, and like, riding in reverse, you you still did end up escaping. I still ended up escaping, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he was in his car. He was He's going backwards down the wrong way. Yeah. I think he was just doing it out of sport. <laughs> <laughs> he he could have fucking hit me with a trank dart or something like that if he wanted to. He's just doing the most dangerous game. <laughs> I didn't want your money. So I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you, fat boy. I'll get you. <laughs> run, fatty, run. It's like Jumanji with the guy <laughs> hunting him around with a fucking gun. Uh, Trent, oh, yeah, got a, a guy. You should do Trent on Are You Garbage. He's a mid uh, Iowa guy. He eats breakfast pizza. He's got some, Ooh, some tendencies. Breakfast pizza. Yeah, yeah. That, that not only does he eat it, it's it's this place called Casey's. He's like, he's telling me about this breakfast pizza that's like supposed to be this gourmet shit. You know, I guess it's kind of like sausage and scrambled eggs. On yeah, I've seen. It. I've had it. But mm. but then it turns out that he like literally gets it from a gas station. <laughs> like oh, he's been geez. waxing poetic about it, and then he goes back and makes a video. And I was like. 
Trent, you're in a gas station, man. Really? Somebody but, told us the other day, do you guys know about ground beef on pizza? Like, just straight ground beef? Have you heard of this? Yeah, I mean, Domino's does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I mean, I've seen, like, the hamburger slice, if you will, at places. Sure. But, like, but the, it's just called, like, the ground beef pizza. Yeah, that blows yeah. me away. I've seen the lasagna slice. A lasagna slice on pizza? So uh, no, it's it's ricotta cheese and ground beef. Yeah, mixed together. But, but I that's never what just I mean. ground beef. It's always beef. got like a name to it. If it's just like the ground beef. No, pizza. when you yes. when Domino's did when the five 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 drop, which will you know was like a, yeah. don't a game you dare changer. say anything bad about the five don't five. You no, oh dare. dude, I I'm 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 upset that you still can't order them anymore. Yeah, that was yeah. like a fucking you game. can't. No, they stopped. They went to seven seven seven, and then things got all wonky. I don't think you can do the five 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 anymore. I don't think you have for a few years. But that's I could be wrong. I I, I just you know. I don't even look at the bill when I go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do a lava cakes. We'll do two medium pizzas. I, I'm offended some... when they when they ask if you want the lava cakes. It's like don't even ask. Those, dude, on, those things are they, so you know, I can't walk with them. Good. I, you can't in my head. I eat them like level donuts. of trash. Dude, they're so that good. I won't allow myself to be. Oh, I really, oh. dude. If you're that's ordering, that's dessert, where you draw the dude, line. you're ordering dessert from Domino's. It's fucking bonkers. Yeah. Dude, I swear they are unbelievable. I'm not saying they're not good. You put one of those on a plate. If you went to a nice house, you go to Eleven Madison. Fucking pop. That on a playlist. One hundred percent. Get the fuck out of here. Throw get a fucking sparkler on it. Tell him it's your birthday. And get the fuck out of here. I, I'm not even kidding. I swear to God, you could have some bougie motherfuckers who would not even bat an eye. Dude, 100%. they're so good. They'd be like, they'd, they'd cut it open and it would fall out, and they'd be like, oh, you know, wow. it's good yeah. too. Yeah. Cause... Is, they, I, here's what I would do if I was Domino's. I would just build the price in. You know, a couple extra bucks on the pizza. And you get a free one. Free lava cake. Free lava cake. And you feel like... But they're probably the not having any trouble moving the lava cakes. No. I mean, you got 75% here that are fucking... You're, we're, we're talking 100,000 <laughs> people right now. Everybody's like, yeah, they're the best. True. They're True. doing all right. You, know, you also, you know they're good because when you fucking... You know how thick the, the Domino's cardboard is. It when you pick it up, through. It's, yeah. it's greasy. Oh, yeah, that the oil seeps through. The table is fucking greasy. That, that's fantastic. what I think. This was like the new money to us. Like, my, that was something like my... Because my parents were all poor. That was like, we're, you do not order dessert from Domino's. Like... Mm. Now they they made these weird rules in their head yeah, and instilled them in us. So I go like, place to draw the line, man. Yeah, it's just I'm, I'm pizza. On the them. other hand, they get their birthday cakes from. Yeah. <laughs> we just was, had a big uh, debate about that. This was Kylie Jenner's dessert. Did you watch this? Yeah, I, I didn't get the hullabaloo about this. Oh, is this the yeah? Yeah, that's some fancy shit right there. That thing like probably melts the globe. Fades away, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what, what that is that's melting away, but it's ice cream on the inside. That's pretty cool. You I, know mean, what? I would absolutely I wonder what this. Denny's that is. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is go to restaurants like that, like the fucking... Where they have those kind of things where sure, it's like... Michelin uh, star shit, yeah. It, not, no, not even Michelin star shit, where they have fucking things that they designed... That you will take your phone out for mm -hmm, in order mm -hmm. to like get yeah of attention. course yeah, yeah, yeah. I like going to those and watching their face when I don't take my phone mm -hmm. out. Ah, Dude, like, it's a power I, move. I was at a bar like this is probably this is a while ago. Just but chops it, it up. Always feels like yesterday. But I was at a bar probably two years ago and they were like mixing me up like a fucking old fashioned or something like that. And they're like, you're gonna want to take your phone out and record this. Oh, and I was like, no, I'm good. What? No, I'm not. Yeah. And they're like, oh, people love it. Like they put it on their Snapchats. And I was like, no, nah, I just, I just want I just my drink. Want my drink. Yeah, hey, buddy, I'm, che I'm cheating like, on my wife right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> you got an American Express gift card. You're about to bounce. <laughs> I do it like, just out of spite. You have no idea. You're about to get screwed. I'm not posting this online. <laughs> no evidence. No paper yeah, trail. Yeah, yeah. I love, uh, or if it's supposed to be like you're supposed to eat it a certain way, and you pour this into that. And I'm just like, I just, you know, I just mix it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is this is what we were just. This is the big one we were just talking about. Somebody asked, how do you cut like a piece of meat? Mm -hmm. do, you, like how do you hold the forks? How do you shit? hold the fork, yeah. the knife? Do you like what, what's your what's I, your go to? I, I, you know, the fork upside down, kind of kind of like it. reverse kind the of. The point is, do you cut it so where you where you take the fork away with the end piece or do you stick it in the meat and then cut it like you're no. carving it? I cut it you like I'm carving it. So you I'm then surprised you, you even use a fork, by the <laughs> Oh, I regularly eat it. No, no, no. That that <laughs> actually I'll, I'll cook. No, no, I'll cook. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because as much of a garbage bag as he is, sure, he went to fucking like princess polish school. Sure, where he knows. It really oh, yeah, you could know the answer. To this. He should he get knows. his fucking money back. <laughs> I've taken motherfucking etiquette classes. Yeah, that's what it's called. Like, Which he, he stole the silverware from the place. <laughs> he knows the salad. I can get ten bucks for these. The, the soup spoon and which goes, you know, the bread and the, the fucking. Sure, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a trash. You sit down and you go I, like this. You're a trash. Bag, I told this know? to chaps the other day. That one's fucking easy. What goes on what side? Yeah, of course. If it's got four letters in it, it goes on the left. Left side. If it's got five, it goes on the right side. Left, right, left four letters, right's five. Okay, Man. but I mean, what spoon, the fuck? knife, right side, fork, left. 
Yeah. I, I, okay. Easy, I mean, that is easy, when, but it's yeah. just like, when I don't know. When did they tell you that. how to eat in bed? <laughs> 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 you fucking well, animal. So you, hold the, <laughs> you hold the fork like this? I hold the fork like this. I cut it, and I eat it. But right. it, you so, eat yeah. with the fork <laughs> hand. Like what? I eat with the fork. Yeah, I don't yeah. switch. I have to I switch. I don't oh, switch. Oh, are you left here or something? No, I'm, I'm just. Is a motherfucker. What I'm, about I, the upside I'm, down so, fork? So do you do cut? that? I do. And then what, not put it all down? the time, but I'll do it. And then That's grab it. Real classic. <laughs> no. Yeah, Can you run and get me some knives and forks? <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> hey, a couple like, of baseball steaks come, too, huh? Completely let go of it. I'll take mash. Who wants baked? Whatever. Yeah. I gotta see this. Well, it's also just to like like my. My wife is obviously way better than me in 99% of life, right? So What's the 1%? I don't know. I got, I got a bigger Stand wiener. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's got one, but mine's bigger. <laughs> Not by much. <laughs> I've seen both. <laughs> I got her by a hair. <laughs> uh, Literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she... I didn't know that there was like... I, I, we're, we grew up animals, dude. My mom was one of nine from like a two bedroom house in Kensington, Philadelphia. It's like, yeah. like trash, like right. no money. Uh, so I just always use my fork to cut most things. Okay. Right. That, and, but like just when I sit there and just kind of like grind away it. at yes. it. Yeah. That's yes. real. Yes. Know, yeah. dude. You're yeah. cutting steak with your fork. <laughs> one shout out to the chef. Cause he's killing it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're fucking trash. All right. Here we go. So, so yeah. Fidelberg's like plastic. I can't eat with these. <laughs> so, I mean, I would go like this. Like I kind of hold the, the, Thank the, you, the, sir. the, you the that's the, the, the classy way to hold. Right. Let me see. Okay. So yeah, you, so you have, and then I just, and then I, you know, so then it's, then it's, in the thing, and then I would just yeah, yep, just like that. I would just lift it. That's nice. That's what a gentleman. So you does. will. So this is all right. This is, I'm gonna get. He's already I'm holding get, it upside down. Yeah. Crazy. I'm gonna get killed for this. Oh, you all hold right. it like that, like an animal? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You were saying you do where you like go like this. No, just, no, no. Uh, yeah. do you, I fucking eat. Do you what are you, the like, fucking zodiac? <laughs> what the fuck? That's how Gazzy's. Gazzy's like shovels <laughs> it in like a fucking animal. Will, will he? Will he like, cut like that? Uh, I'm talking like I, I don't remember how he cuts. But yeah. I'm talking like when we were on like the blackout tour and we're doing like like salads. He would just be like, you're going to get some roughage in, in me. And I'm like, all right, dude, <laughs> call it roughage. It's fucking salad, bro. <laughs> okay, so teach me your so garbage I'll, ways. I, if I'm, ve- if I'm, now I'm aware of these things. Because yeah. like the yeah. first time we went out to like a nice dinner, we were with her family. And they're like, Europeans tend to be a bit more refined. Look right? at how you're holding that. It's not, it's not a fucking I, pool cue. I know. <laughs> well, now I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. I'm like, do, how do I do it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I really don't know how to hold this. I'll, yeah, so I'll cut. But like, say I have like a piece of chicken, right? Like a chicken breast. Mm-hmm. I'll cut like a Let's bunch of... Let's say it's Parmesan. <laughs> oh, you'll do a bunch of little pieces? I'll do a bunch of pieces. Oh, you're like a child. Okay, and then yeah. switch over. I'll drop it. I'll put the knife down. <laughs> and switch, then sit there and switch to my right hand. And then like so, four or so, five pieces what? and then redo it. Oh my god, that is that's <laughs> the that's, most that's, tragic. That's, 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 that's what you, you might as well just slide it over to your mom. Have her also, do it for I you. never knew you were until I was like proper adult. I didn't know you were supposed to use the the knife to guide the stuff onto the fork. So like I would like use my fingers and then like (laughs) like, let me just grab it, put it on. It would would be like a backstop. You know what I mean? Like I would like you know scoop it. Like if I had like rice or peas or something, because you can get most of it with a scoop. But when you yeah. get down to the last couple of pieces, I gotta fucking. Yeah. What about spoons? Would you ever yeah. eat like peas with spoons? I have honestly yeah. started to switch yeah. over to in my home. I'm exclusively tablespoons on a lot of things yeah, that I shouldn't. Yeah, I mean be. It, it makes a lot of sense. Even for spaghetti. Things. Spaghetti. Spaghetti on a with a spoon because I, He's an I, animal. I slice it up. That's I chop my spaghetti garbage. now. And listen, you kids out there listening, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you want to make just regular pasta sauce seem creamy, fucking chop up your spaghetti in the in a pan. It makes and it you creamy. can be like H. Foley, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> and stay in school. Don't use drugs, kids. <laughs> but if you do, give me a call. Comes with an angioplasty, too. <laughs> I mean, cut, cutting up all your... That's like, I, I, When I... I make my kids food. I cut them up like thirty pieces and give it to them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, man. It's... That blew me away when I was a kid. Remember when your fucking mom or dad would just be like, <laughs> yeah. just cut it up. Joe, 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 yeah, Joe, it's like, yeah. what are you a samurai? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, fucking... I found it, it really hit me when I was out to dinner and my my I guess she's my sister in law now, my uh, <laughs> wife's <laughs> brother's wife, and we're sitting there and she's sitting across. She's looking and at like, like it, everybody was kind of looking at me. So my yeah. wife made like a joke to like kind of break the tension. Yeah. And this is the first time we're meeting. We're out of the yeah, nice well, restaurant. Well, look at the rescue dog. I yeah. brought <laughs> to the family here. 
and You're a rescue dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing hair and stuff. It's a loud bang. I got a free collar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just got dipped, everybody. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> And like uh, my sister-in-law made a comment, like, "Oh, you're really going to town on that." And I was like, "Am I?" Oh, oh. fuck her. Then I was just, so, I've, all. I've been hyper aware of it completely. I'm surprised around. you didn't just stab That's, it and eat yeah. the breast. This is America, yeah, no baby. Shit. <laughs> That's some like meet the parents shit. Like, yeah. oh, look yeah, who needs a little right. visit from the shower fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you fucking leave me alone. Let me do my goddamn thing. Yeah, right. I'm like, why do I, in laws is the you can you can get along with your in laws and they still suck. You know what I mean? It's just it's just you're not my family. I'm not yours. We're gonna do things differently, and we're probably not gonna really get along with each other. Sure, but I'm from a family that's like I like my in laws better. Cause I'm like, I'm done with you fucking animals. You know what I mean? Like, you guys don't know my secrets. You're not, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, I walk in, like, I drink Starbucks and my family's like so blue collar and trashy that they're like, oh, get a load of fancy pants over here. (laughs) Mr. Big New Yorker and his Starbucks. We're a Duncan family. Like, dude, I get checked when I go home. I get proper checked. What what do you, when you're eating, uh, do you have a, uh, this this was kind of instilled in me a little bit from my grandfather. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess not garbage, but like he always eats the certain foods in a certain order. So like he in his mind, this was, I guess he said this came from the firehouse when he would get interrupted for to go out and you come back, you have to eat the food. Uh, and he so he would eat like he could always eat cold meat, but he couldn't eat like cold potatoes. So you eat like the potatoes first, and then the vegetables, and then the this, and then the that, and then yeah, the meat yeah, at the yeah. end. Yeah, that's we just had Keegs, have... Kelly Keegs, who I think yes. is her, who eats one thing at a time. Yeah, she that's called each... psycho shit. Yeah, that's, that's what that's called. She, like, she'll do all the peas, yeah, then the potatoes, and then the meat. That's weird, but I guess this is kind of what he did, too, just out of this temperature thing. I mean, you're a yeah. fireman, that's that one thing. Right. Or you but work at fucking, fucking but... NORAD or something, yeah, we'll give it to you. But if you're a blogger at Barstool, you got time to eat your fucking dinner. If you're doing that at the lunchroom in the cafeteria, man, don't be surprised when you're sitting by yourself the next day. <laughs> Kelly is uh is a funny one because like so what was what was the verdict on her? Oh, fucking trash, oh, dude. Her yeah. whole uh, and she goes anywhere we go. The question the I that really blew it open was do you, have you ever checked into a hotel with a cooler? And she's yeah. like I, for my whole life, because we bring heavies. a cooler. Yeah, everywhere. Her mom's down on Bud the mom heavies. drinks yeah. Bud and heavy. shrimp cocktail. Yeah, yeah which is, is real imagine, Irish. Imagine trash. going somewhere with shrimp cocktail and a six or a Bud heavies <laughs> in a cooler, like like you're ready to hang. But she she is. I love uh, it. I'm ready to go. I know. I, know. I can eat shrimp cocktail until my face vegan. falls off. <laughs> <laughs> she, but Kelly herself is like. That she dresses like well, yeah. You're trying, she's trying to hide it. Yes. Like she's yeah, like she yeah, can yeah. kind of walk but in both worlds. But she does kind of hide it. She does. Well. She hides Absolutely. it well. Yeah, yeah. It I mean, took us a while stylish. to pin she's her a down. High society bitch. Like, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that Cruella Deville movie's coming out. We all say like that's her because she's. Yeah. I can see her smoking cigarettes out of those things. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Killing dogs for a jacket or something. Yeah. What? Well, it's a nice coat. You know what I mean. But then, yeah, she. You know. Yeah, it took us a while to get her, but we got her. We cracked her. Yeah, her mom. Her mom really gave her away. When was the last time you guys interviewed someone who was? Classy. Uh, yesterday, yesterday oh, yeah. we had Chaz Pomelteri in. Oh, who, I saw that, dude, dude. Who like changed the class, changed the level of what a class is. Gentleman, like, so you had to readjust people back. You, well, I hey, mean, it's by also, the way, we said you were class. You're not because Chaz yes. told us we're yeah, classes, like, yeah, like just like we asked him, we're like, you know, what do you drive or what? What kind of car do you have? And he's like, oh, well, I have a driver. Mm-hmm. Who's also a security guard yeah. who carries a gun and he's downstairs right now? And we were like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah, that's the classiest way to travel, right, I guess, is getting right. driven around in your car. He's, he's getting real... into like the podcast game, kind of right? Does yeah, he have his own he's doing show. A... Or yeah, Chaz Terry oh, show. Because yeah. I've seen him on Christy. I've seen him making the rounds. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But he has his own show. Huh? Yeah, it's fantastic. The classiest thing he said he got from his pops was, and I never even thought of this. If he drives somewhere, like say he's in New York and he drives to Atlantic City, first thing he does. What do you think the first thing he does when he gets there? To like the hotel or something? No, when he when he gets in town, fills the car back up. Just in case you <laughs> so get hemmed up and you got to get go. the fuck out. No. So See, he's I ready to go. I disagree with that. <laughs> that's garbage. He's a, I, that's, oh, yeah. that's like fucking dad's ba- back into the parking spots. I'm like, yeah. just prolong the annoying thing. Like, <laughs> sure. my, my dad does it. My dad, dude, we were parking. Back into the parking. This, this that was always the mark of an asshole. Oh. Yeah. Like, this fucking, you drive a Corolla, you yeah. jerk off. In the grocery back. store? Yeah. Come on, give or me a break. The guy that parked like in the back of the parking lot, it's like, what are you doing? Or, or the, 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 the dick who takes two spots. Uh, if you you park oh, in the course. line, you better have like a Bentley. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you do that with like a old like 
beat up BMW. It's like, listen, pal. Yeah. But you don't think that's look. classy, so you're prepared for the next nah, move. You got it. He's either. not a gauge I, of classy. I, 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 what are you talking about? Look, it's nah, that's more money I for the crabs tables. It. Yeah. it is fucking like, dude, this this past weekend I was home and we went to a bar with my family, and like because of you know, COVID. <laughs> Stop right there. Stuff like that. It, it was actually a brewery, if I it, uh, like class it up a little bit. We got bit. a flight. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and, we got 13 uh, flights each. <laughs> <laughs> Real classy family. Can I get a full size flight? Is that a thing? Just, Just can you bring me five beers. Yeah. 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 And by what I'm trying to say is a six pack. We don't yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> but the, and like, because COVID, they have like, you know, like obviously uh, restrictions on how many people can be there. And so the parking lot was pretty much empty. And there was just a full row to park in. And I was like, just fucking drive into it. And he's like, did like a four point turn to be able to back into it. I was like, dude, we're just like, we're gonna just we'll do the back out later. Sure. He's like, I'd like to be ready to go. Yeah, that's why? preparedness. Like, that's why? Case, you know, the apocalypse hits and we gotta run. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But like, like, like right brewery. now, my car is in the garage and it's on empty. And I uh, was thinking yeah. to myself, like, I, I had time earlier. I do this all, I do it a lot and I regret it every time. It's like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta drop the kids off at school and uh, I'm running on empty, empty. Mm -hmm. Ever since when once cars started doing the digital uh, gas, you know, oh, so you and know, they tell you like, exactly I'm, I'm how two, long I'm, you got. I'm two miles to the. To oh, exit, I love and I'm it. Like looking on Google Maps, like all right, the gas station is 1.8 away. Like yeah, we're good. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're playing but, with house but, money at that but, point. <laughs> absolutely, I'm living. But <laughs> but you know, it's like I should fill up right now while I have the time, and I'm never gonna. You know, no, never. And never, ba never. back when, how many times have you run out of gas? No, I mean I'm not an idiot. Oh, like, I've I run out of gas countless times. Countless times. It was it was a thing in Doesn't high school. Even have a car, that's the weirdest never thing. Never run out of gas. Yeah, I mean, I've it never was, run out of gas. Like, oh, oh no, hundred percent. Like many times. I've it, definitely it, had to throw it in neutral and stuff downhill <laughs> to save a couple of. You so know, what'd you do? Did clicks. you walk to the gas station? I called to play. Oh, okay. Gas me up. It, it wow, was like a thing in high is, school. That is, where, like, I'm not much of a man. Hey, Triple A, it's Feidelberg <laughs> again. <laughs> was, and my yeah, mom, I'm on Route Four. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a, a school where like the parents could just be like, "Hey, he's not coming in today," and like you, that was fine. That was a loud excuse. Sure. So my mom would have to call and be like, "John did it again." Again. Okay. Like, John, John's gonna miss the first half of school today because he's got to sit inside of the roadway for Triple A. Wow. I'd be like a mile. Was, from was your dad ever like, "God damn it, John"? I don't right? know if she ever told him. Yeah, he, he, he would not be happy about that. I don't think he'd really give a shit. I think he would. I think I think I, like, think, I think dads would all kind of be like, God damn it, come on. I don't think he'd care. I think he'd be like, whatever. Like you do you I, I at a very young Maybe age I was allowed time. to do what I wanted to do. Yeah, we know. Like, yeah. <laughs> like all right, like like Kid they, they to knew to cut beat. ties and start focusing on the other three pretty soon. We're like, this yeah. one's this piece this piece of art isn't really gonna come out how I want it to. Yeah. Let's start working on the other one. <laughs> like a burnt piece of toast. <laughs> if we're still hungry later, we'll eat it. Oh how, that's a good one. You you, you scrape off the burn mm -hmm. on toast? If if I don't have like another slice. Another slice, yeah. yeah but I mean, yeah, yeah. you know I'm a if, burnt toast guy. Love yeah, it. You go, oh, you go yeah. like Polish? Arc, like black, black. Like, huh? You Polish? No why? Is that a Polish oh, thing? Oh yeah, Poles love it. Really? really? Nah. That's a, <laughs> that, that, that simultaneous like, really? Yeah. Oh, I was like, that's a weird fact to yeah. know. <laughs> I'm like, I know a decent amount of stereotypes. Polish, I never you can't trust one. them. They're like burnt toast. <laughs> By the way, I hate to burst your bubble. I got a DM and somebody said, don't burst this bubble, but I'm going to burst it. Oh, boy. Your fun facts, they're just not true. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. you've been fucking believing those? Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's two that we he said, and I've, I've, been, I've been telling them, too, because they are, they are fun, and people go, oh, yeah. Uh, the first All one, of my fun facts are one person told me once, and I didn't research it. Yeah. yeah. And that's, 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 that's my whole the life. The first yeah. one is that Puerto Rico and San Juan are flipped, that the country was supposed to be called San Juan, mm -hmm. which makes sense, and that the port... Is Puerto, is Puerto Rico, Rico. yeah. Um, but that I can't remember why it's not true, but it's not true. And then <laughs> that one's that one's true. It, there, there, it was that, close. That, it wasn't all. It wasn't all totally the islands wrong. down there: Saint Bart, Saint Thomas, Saint this, yeah. Saint Juan. Yes, but there was something like they, they. You lose a lot of credibility with the glasses, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they like intentionally did change it, but but anyway, the other one is that Prague is the only place in Europe that was untouched by World War II. Like, it just didn't have any damage. And someone just sent me a Wikipedia page that was, like, the bombing of Prague. And it, and it was, like, in 1941, Prague was, like, annihilated by, like, a lightning strike of fucking, you know. That, was, like, that one was told creed. to me on a tour of Prague by that a Prague That makes sense. Board. I've right. been to Prague, Not and it right. is still super old. Yeah. And I've been yeah. to parts Which, of Germany that are, like, Brand have been, been all bombed out. out. Right. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. that one—that yeah. one I won't. I, that's not my responsibility. Someone, a Czech, <laughs> a Czech tour guide told me that. that that's yeah. good enough for me. I mean, yeah, come yeah. on, a true historian shifting yeah. responsibility. <laughs> I'll tell. <laughs> him that's stuff. not on me. I tell him stuff. I'm like, oh, did you know this or whatever? We're talking, and then like seven days later, he'll tell me the same. Fa like, 
whole attempt to tell me the same fact, like he yeah, read it I somewhere. Told you that. And he'd be like, did you know hippopotamuses never sleep? I'm like, that's not what I, I told you that, and that wasn't the fucking fact, you idiot. If you, if you guys would like some bad information secondhand about SEOs, give me a call. <laughs> I had to tell him what I had to, I had to tell him the difference between a download and a view the other day. When you, he's like, is that views and downloads? Or they're the same thing. I'm like, just stop asking questions about the business end of this. All right? I, I, like, I, just as crack I, the jokes. Yeah. Yeah. As I laugh. To make sure I know what you're talking about, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and say it? Just so the listener knows yeah, what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us professional podcasters, we do know. How Cause, about us? Uh, I think we kind of download as a view, right? Or, well, we, no, we do, but they are different things. You can, yes, they're the same. As a number, they're the same thing. Okay. Yeah. But they're different things. Yeah, one's yeah. on YouTube, one's a podcast. Yes. Okay. He yeah. does. He, you didn't get that. What's that? <laughs> I'm sorry, were you guys talking to me? How about uh, how about this move? This went viral on the internet the What's other that? day. Little uh, charcuterie oh, I board, saw it with nice. the, but it's but, uh, uh, lunchables. lunchables. Okay. Which, by the way, <laughs> got to be way more expensive to do this than do a, a proper to just buy a board. lunchables. Are no joke. I mean, get, man. to get like 65 lunchables, those are all like 10 They're bucks a pop. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, crazy. yeah. But that went super viral, and everyone was like, "Yeah, dude, that, that's you're, been done you're a handful of times." You know, what we can ask KFC. You, you pack the kids' lunches? Oh. Uh, no. You don't? Uh, 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 no, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> what, yeah. do you just send them with cash? They... <laughs> <laughs> He's 20. Call up Domino's, 555. Five, five. They all have Seamless on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting Uber Eats. They save a lot of the cake room. for the old man, huh? <laughs> They're in like... I gotta go get gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, 1.8 miles away, we'll be all right. Don't worry about me. They do like snack time because it's like not full school. So gotcha, it's like, gotcha, know, gotcha. So I haven't really done the like. I'm not like making them sandwiches Proper, and yeah. shit like that. Okay. Yeah. But do you but use the, the little the little uh, plastic baggies like the Ziplocs? I, I, when I when I do it, I think that will be instilled in me because I used to have some shame. I used to be the guy like with like a ripped bag like coming well, out. Yeah. And, and, but here's the thing: do you use the zip one or the flip? Were you the fold over? The, the, the oh, the the. the, the, the or did you have the proper dual freshness? If you, if you don't zip. have a Ziploc, you're you're on fucking food stamps. What about yeah. tin, uh, what about tinfoil when you're wrapping? Would a, not use them. Yeah, Why we not? were a foldover. Yeah, yeah, we were. Hollywood a, used foldovers. Yeah, I mean, not all. Some it wasn't. Uh, I think she, she didn't really care. Like, yeah, you know, she yeah. didn't have a fair. Like, sometimes we'd have the, the double seal, but others it was just a flip. Yeah, sure. yeah, just, nah, we were. Yeah, dude, I got a thing of fucking broken pretzels. Like, you know what I mean? Like, by the, by the time you got to lunch, the soda can had crunched it Absolutely. and shit. Yeah, it was the yeah, fucking yeah. worst. We were you, straight tinfoil. Which is a class. Sandwich, That's a class. Sandwich yeah. wrapped wrapped in tinfoil. And a soda. We, 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 we dabble in tinfoil as well. Yeah. I, 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 I soda to keep it cold. Is that what you're saying? Of course. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's we real Irish. Did you do garbage thought? Did you like lunch boxes your kid with like the thermos and all that kind of shit? I uh, know I that shit was like corny to me. Yeah. I'm like, I want a fucking paper bag. I don't yeah. want to be rolling in with like I, a ninja I remember Turtles having thing. like a box and the smell. Those smells so unique. Everybody, yeah, yeah, but 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 all the same. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah that's you, what I'm would, you would have peanut butter and bologna and this and that, and then it would just it would just morph into cafeteria smell or lunch yeah. smell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, the people who would like, I, I remember kids who would have a thermos and they would use the cup, the top as oh. the cup. And it's like just kill like, yourself. What are you now? Construction worker yeah, no all of a sudden? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, there, like, well, I did that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I, would, I would do it with like I'd get like hot chocolate for lunch. You would take hot, hot chocolate, chocolate for lunch? Yeah. Or, Man, or, this kid's fucking screwballs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! No. I'd have either hot chocolate or soup. Sometimes Dude, you can't be in soup. You can't be an mo. elementary school sometimes kid sometimes rolling into mo. lunch with soup. Could you imagine? Sometimes <laughs> soup, soup and hot chocolate. Could you imagine this kid at lunch? Would you have a fever? <laughs> no, just like a little fucking chicken, chicken noodle soup for lunch. Wow, Last that's... day of school, this guy's eating soup. <laughs> fucking May. What, 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 like what was your lunchtime lunch? What was your lunch? The go-to was yeah. a peanut butter and jelly. Wrapped in tin foil, and then uh, some chips, some pretzels. My mom was big on the uh, the variety pack of little bags of chips. chips the yeah. Doritos. We, yeah, the, we used yeah, to yeah, fight yeah. over the Doritos. And that the Fritos would be left over. Oh that, yeah, right? fuck, yeah. or like the regular chips, or the yeah, popcorn or something point. was yeah, left over. Right. Yeah, 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 take yeah, a yeah. You, what was your thing? I elementary school was packed like a peanut butter sandwich. I was no, I didn't like jelly. I still don't. I'm just yeah. peanut butter. Like if I'm, I'll be a peanut butter guy. Yeah, for sure. Crazy. I know. It's I, I dabble in both, but I often will just do. I do a triple decker. Nice. Wow. Three, three bread. Two, two levels of. They used uh, to sell them at our school. They did triple decker triple? PB yeah. and J's. Yeah, they called it the Foley. <laughs> uh, you know what? They got a bad rap. Is the pound the sand? Like when it got like crushed. I think, I think oh, it was, it was good. great. Right? great. Like, I, I, think it, I, I haven't it, made dude. a peanut butter and jelly in a while, but if I would, I'd probably punch it. Thin yeah, crust. It. Yeah, it's so, fantastic. Yeah, it's no. it, it, it's, it's it almost dense, you know, yeah. I mean? it's packed into that. Into that it's one almost like a peanut butter and jelly chip. 
Oh. <laughs> the one thing my mom did fantastic was she used to get Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies, uh -huh. and she'd put them in the freezer. Mm. So by the time lunch rolled around, they were like, it was almost like they were uncooked. Mm -hmm. They were so mm. chewy and moist. Fucking good night. I, I think not enough, not enough people put foods in a freezer. Food in a freezer is, no, come on in. Martin. We're going to put you right in the middle. <laughs> you all right? No, wait, before, before we get into Marty, just hang on for one second right there. Have we talked about baloney? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but you said that real weird. Yeah. yeah. What do you have, <laughs> like what do you have stock in it or something? Have Marty, I told we don't you guys know this about guy. <laughs> big baloney is taking over. Yeah. I mean, that's that's got to be a very big point of contention in like, the garbage world. Like, it's do you trash like to me. It's yeah, fucking I mean, fantastic. Like, like, I. And you know what I've gotten into lately? Would you like, like Oscar Mayer bologna? Like from the fucking yeah, package? Yeah, of course. Or do you like, I mean, both. Boar, both. Boar, boar yeah. I thin mean, sliced. They're both good. Yeah, thin they're, sliced is good. Like that's the thing. But that, what I've got into is olive loaf. Do you fuck oh, with that? Come on. It's bologna with little pieces of olive in it. Dude, it's fantastic. I mean, no, I'm fucking it's not. No, no, yeah, it's not. dude, it's... I mean, I mean, the problem here for me is... Well, the, the problem is it's complete and total garbage. <laughs> yeah. I just also don't like olives, so I can't do that. But if you're eating... Bologna mixed up with if olives. If you're Again, tell yourself. Uh, any, I think anything with loaf in it is... It's bad. I, I, said, <laughs> it's bad. I said meatloaf meat needs a rebranding. Yes, meat I agree. Meatloaf sounds disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, it's fucking good. Meat He's an idea great. guy over I'll here. I'll give you, you that. You throw like a French name or a fucking ritzy name behind meatloaf. Yeah. Uh, the whole, a whole new... Or, uh, and change the shape. You know? I, I think you can even... The log the is shape. tough. The log is tough. But that is a delicious meal that needs a whole new, a whole new world. Fantastic. Big yeah. meatloaf guy. All right, let's bring in Marty Mush. All right, let's welcome Marty Bush to the program. It <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Doesn't this look kind of cool, though? It's kind of funny. You do have to go to YouTube to see it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, go to YouTube and subscribe <laughs> to watch my moron co-host here and, and his, like, absolute... God. <laughs> let's welcome Marty Mush to the show. It's, he's brought to you by Miller Lite. You know that Marty Mush enjoys a nice cold Miller Lite because despite <laughs> how stupid he is, he knows that the best beer in the game... He knows is, to listen to us. He does, right. When we, when like, we recommend a beer. Marty knows what he knows, and he knows what he doesn't know. Yeah. And he knows when it comes to, hey, but, hey, fellas, which beer should I drink? Let me listen to the KFC radio, guys, and get myself an ice cold He's too Miller Lite. drinking fucking Blackheart. Right, drinking say, disgusting you rum. Over rum. Side of the fence a right. Bit. How about, you know, you want to drink disgusting rum from the deplorable pits of Long Island, or do you want to drink an ice cold Miller Lite from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where they That's brew beer delicious. in their sleep at, you know? They, they, all they do in Wisconsin is make cheese and cook beer. Cro cook beer. What do they call brew beer? Yeah. Uh, so you boil it. You, you boil the beer. Whatever. However you make the beer, that's what they do in Wisconsin for Miller Lite. So Marty knows to drink it. We've been drinking it. Dana Beers has switched over. The guy's name is Dana Beers, for God's sake. I mean, at this point, if you're not on the Miller Lite train, you got it. You got to get on. And listen, I understand it. I grew up in New York. I know that these things are pretty regional. Well, let's call it spade a spade. Miller Lite has taken over. It's a great taste. And I, I genuinely say this. I, I drank a different beer for most of my life because that's just it was a regional thing. Right. And then I never really drank many Miller Lights. And then once like, the sponsorship came on, I was like, yeah, like, all right, right, we'll do a Miller Lights. And now it's just it's it is night worldly and day. wet better. Yep. Like, it is com it is that's not it, this obviously clear is an advertisement. So I hashtag ad, but I it is truly, truly a far it's, superior. It's beer. just got the taste. Yeah. Like it, it has an, an enjoyable taste while still being less filling. So, I mean, it's just the best of both worlds. Beats all the competitors, and uh, we saw the light. We grew up. Everybody grows up and eventually becomes a Miller Lite man or woman, and you should too. Go to MillerLite.com slash KFC to find the delivery options near you. It's uh, Mil in the, from the Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Celebrate responsibly uh, and go to MillerLite.com slash KFC. Obviously, must be 21 or up for Miller time. Marty Mush, this is Kevin, this is Foley. What's hey, up, buddy? Are you garbage, guys? How are you, man? Um, if I smell like shit, I just took one. So <laughs> oh, great. I always think that you smell like it when you sit <laughs> in. Just what? How are you? That's very out, considerate. You know? are, you that? <laughs> are you shitting into the toilet? No, like, so just, it goes I, away down the water, you know? I don't know. I always don't understand the splashing and the aromas that could stick on you. I don't know. Just That's not a thing. Up. Nobody smells like poop <laughs> on them when they walk out. Just That's have, not you know, unless you're touching up a little bit. <laughs> That's also an awesome way to enter a conversation. Yeah. Hey, I, just, I might smell like shit. I just shit. It might stick to me. I don't know. I'm Marty. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Technically, we can only go up. You know, yeah. 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 Real I like it. Yes. So, yeah. Buy low, sell high, baby. I'd shake your hand, but I peed all over the place. I apologize. <laughs> now, Great to I, meet I mean, you, buddy. I think we all know where this is going to go, but Kevin Foley, you're going to ask you a series of questions to determine whether you are garbage or not. 
uh, before <laughs> we're garbage, by the way. Yeah, so we're it's trash. not like we're accusing you of yeah. anything. No, no, and no, before I you open your mouth, I gotta say, you came in pretty clean cut kid. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a good looking kid. Oh. Let's just yeah. say he <laughs> got he just got new teeth, so yeah. he's an eight. Uh-huh. You like those? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. New veneers. Yeah. yeah, he's really flashing them too. He's all fucking ear to ear. I don't know how to smile. I'm not sure. I always smile like this. So yeah. I'm like, I don't know how to do it now. Yeah, you look Man. like when, you know, like the, when, like a, when a dog smiles, there's like a puppy, and the <laughs> yeah. teeth are stuck on the thing, and they're like, what if the dog's smiling? That's like you. Uh, he, yeah, it looked, it used to look like he chewed rocks. They were, it were bad. Really? It was good like one you. of those you things like, Congrats, I want to get him too. I want to get him too. And they're also, nice. you know, uh, you you got the flow coming out of the back now. Oh, well, I'm not getting a haircut because I'll probably go bald. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got, Welcome you to got the club, buddy. The, you got some issues with the hair, yep. with the patches. Can you, do, can you do the beard thing still or no? I, I've been getting shots in it. Oh, See yeah? That shit? What's that for? It's not as bad. It used That's to be. alopecia. Like, you got alopecia? I got I got scoliosis. I got, <laughs> look at my knees. He just I said that like a right. Jewish grandmother. <laughs> I got scoliosis. <laughs> I can do this with my knee, too. Yeah, he, oh! oh! Wow, what happened? I don't do it. Don't do it again. Do it again. Just go like this. Oh, you don't see it turning? What the fuck? It's like fucking Gumby. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus yeah, I wanted to set the table. There's some weird things. Wow. This isn't Are You a Carnival act. What <laughs> the fuck's going on so over here? I want to get Dr. Drew on the phone. <laughs> God damn. So he's Marty Mush. That's not his name at all. <laughs> it's a totally fake name. Uh, he's a gambler, so we all thought that mush had to do with being like a mush, but it turns out you like shit your pants or something. Yeah, so I don't know. That's stuff. that's the I'll lay the groundwork there. You guys could take it from here. But when did you I shit you your pants? Your How long ago was this? A <laughs> couple grade. of minutes. <laughs> Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Oh, that's not bad. Know. I did it two years ago. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I did it a bunch. Of <laughs> he got the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice he's got a ninth grade. He's got to live up to the brand. At the start of quarantine, probably about two months ago. I think months ago, like a full blown shit. It's not a full blown. It was like a uh oh when you walk like a pterodactyl. Oh yeah, it's like. I, I had one. God, I had one. The worst one's like warm in here. Like, ah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I, I told it. this story. I happened about a year ago, right at the start of quarantine. I was cooking couscous oh, in my God, kitchen, I can't even get and I was so I'd gotten sick. I, I got like the flu, and I woke up like I'd shit the bed, and so I showered, threw the sheets out, all kinds of stuff, and then I was like, I'm, I'm hungry because I. I had an empty stomach. <laughs> By the way, the fact that you guys just let them all gloss over that's pretty, that's a lot. You also, I'm not going to lie, I shit the bed about two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> not, that's why. I was sick, I shit the bed, and like I cleaned it up like I was getting rid of a body. My wife had no idea. I was going to say, dude. I scrubbed, like, hey, why don't you go for a walk? I like scrubbed the mattress. I had like baking soda and shit. She shit the bed with her in it, obviously. She's in the same bed? No, I was laying in bed. She was like out doing, like she was in the living room, and I shit the bed, and I was just like, so fuck. I'm like, hey, I'm going to, yeah. I thought I was farting. Were you naked? No, I was farting, and it went through, <laughs> through into the bed. Bo- oh, my. Oh, man. You ever shit in the oh. shower on accident? Like, don't come in here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit in the a, shower, it's yeah. It's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it down the drain's real tough. Yeah. You start scooping and stuff. Yeah, it's not good. What? What? He's shit in the shower. I didn't mean to. Well, I kind of... I didn't... You'd think anything in the shower... Would just go down the drain. Not fucking Not solids. solids. Marty, Don't you might want to talk to your primary care physician. <laughs> 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 it's just solid a lot. Apparently, God. A lot it's of liquid. Solid a lot. I don't. <laughs> okay, but wait, so the couscous. Oh, so I'm, so then like the later couscous. in the day, I'm like, not much later in the day, but you know, shortly thereafter, I'm like hungry. I'm cooking a, cooking some uh, chicken and couscous. And couscous, I don't know if you guys cook a lot of couscous. Stop, it's saying, hard. Couscous. Yeah. Yeah, stop <laughs> saying couscous. Yeah, stop saying couscous. Huh? Stop saying couscous. Are they a sponsor on the show or something? <laughs> it's the food so nice they named it twice. The uh, <laughs> Big couscous got to Feidelberg. Like, couscous, like, it's like 30 seconds here, one minute here, 30 seconds here. You're like doing a lot of stuff. And I bent down to get some of the chicken out of the oven. And when I went like this, I just fucking shit all over the uh. place. <laughs> and, but He's so one, dedicated to the couscous. I was so dedicated to the couscous that I kept cooking. So I finished cooking the entire lunch with just a bunch of shit in my pants. Like a, like a lot of shit. Like I'm that, not even shocked at this point. Like that was where I thought the conversation was going, to be honestly, honest with you. Honestly, I'm probably after I ate that lunch, I went and did all your garbage. Yeah. <laughs> around that time, I feel like is when I was first on the show. <laughs> Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. Shit in your pants, though. Shit in your pants, though, to be fair. All right? Although it is garbage. The older you get, when you start crossing in your 30s, something's going to happen. happen yeah. It's a you know, thing. On a, on a, ti- on a certain uh, timeline, everybody... It's a size thing, too, with him. Let's not beat yeah. around the bush. Yeah. I mean, like, he's yeah. not nimble. If he gets hemmed up, he's not like... 
<laughs> it's a process. It comes on the strong. The last time I shit myself, I was at uh, Phoebe's. You know that bar? Uh, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's like Avenue. It's uh, uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's yeah, sorry. It's like I don't know why I got like super like. Hey, what? No, what's the block <laughs> again? <laughs> I know what I mean. But I I had reconnected with an ex girlfriend. So we had uh, we broke up for a while. We get we, we I think it was a birthday. It was a common friend, whatever. And so we meet back up and. Everyone else eventually leaves. It's just me and her. We know where this is going. It's like we're gonna we're gonna like reunite for the night. And I go down to the bathroom, and I was fine. I it wasn't like I was like oh god. And I was just I was at the urinal, and I, I farted at the urinal. And I mean I oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> and oddly enough, for some reason, for the first time in. In 25 years at that point, and the last time I ever done it, I was wearing corduroys. I don't know why I had corduroy really? pants on. Really? Well, got stuck in the lines? No, it wasn't that. It was How good is your game? You're going to get laid in corduroys. <laughs> stuck this in the lines. You didn't shit on the outside of the pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good protection. So, so. Got stuck in the lines. <laughs> Who was he? Wearing them inside out? He <laughs> 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 wearing them inside out. <laughs> So, so, so I, I I I go to the stall, and this was one of those bathrooms where it's like nobody nobody got in your hair, huh? Yeah. Wait, right, what? Get it in your eyes? Is that what happened with the corduroy? What the fuck is this guy talking? So I go into the stall, and this is not a bathroom where anybody ever actually like poops. So like you walk in that stall, and people were like, "What the fuck are you doing yeah. in there?" The only you time know? you go into the stall is when you're doing coke. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I got I take the boxers off. I mean, they're gone. There's no saving them. <laughs> and I so now I'm commando in a in a pair of corduroys, and I stuff the the fucking boxers in the bath in the garbage. You know? Yeah. And but these guys, all the guys in the bathroom are seeing me, and they're like, "What is happening <laughs> yeah, yeah, here?" Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, uh, so but whatever, I clean myself up. I'm all good. I go back upstairs to her, and then it's time to like go home. Now, it's time to go back to my apartment with her. With her, and man, now I'm you got wearing, some work ahead of you. <laughs> now I'm wearing corduroys with no underwear. <laughs> what is so, this, the seventies? <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> Who's rolling around that, in corduroys? Yeah, that arises more questions than you shit in your pants. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So now I'm like, oh my god! If we go to bed together and she takes my pants off, and and, and I'm just like commando under there, it's Timmy, a whole yeah, fucking question, problem, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I ended up, uh, I I think I ended up like being like, you got to go to the bathroom, right? Like you got to go. And she was kind of like, I mean, I guess so, whatever. So she's in, and I like run, I take my clothes off, put my pants on, pull on a new pair of boxers, put my pants back on. She was none the wise. I'll give you that. That's pretty good. Yeah, Hang I mean, on a it second. Was, it's, like a, it's like a bad sitcom. <laughs> just kind of curious, if you were going to get intimate with somebody, wouldn't you want to freshen up a little bit down there? I mean, yes, but Jesus Christ, Foley. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I was in crisis mode. He's pulling okay? this broad out of Phoebe. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? It's not like. <laughs> how, do you, how do you freshen up down there? I mean, I'm whatever. in the shower, Marty. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to shower yeah, before you do yeah, There's no way I'm going to hop in the shower yeah. at 2 a.m. after the bar. Not happening. You shower before every time you dog someone? A little bit, yeah. I'm always calling a dog in somebody. Yeah, that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. You're getting into yeah, I'm not ripping them off at the track. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. It's not a game of three card Monty, much. Yeah, I dogged her at the Belmont. What's he <laughs> really, to be honest, when you as go a bigger home, guy, though, I get self conscious about that. I, I, I don't but, want it to but, stink but, down but there. Think about it. Well, like, it does. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Sounds like I've been there. I don't know why I made the. Well, it does, and you're disgusting. Even if you don't shit yourself after a night at the bar, I always think about. I get self conscious about this. Uh, you go home with a girl after a night at the bar. It blows me away. It's a disaster. It blows you know, me you know, away. Walking yeah. and talking and sweating and farting and drinking and even if you don't full blown shit yourself, it can't be great for. I mean, if a girl is going down on you after the bar, it's like, what's wrong? With her? I think it's weirder. <laughs> I think it's weirder to have a fucking uh, like a dick after a shower. That's like, that's just like fucking. You think it's weird to have what? Like I think it's weird to like fuck a dick that just got out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's like it's just like a fucking. It just tastes like skin, right? At least you got like you've been out sweating a little bit. You got a little salt on there. You got a little little flavor. Is that, that what you're saying? A couple of goutermats on would there. You yeah. Never even think of that. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? That's what fucking want, sweat want, tastes you, like. You, it's you salt, some, oh. and then fucking it's a little salty. You got a little would flavor. you rather go you down, down on a girl just got out of shower? I get what you're saying. I think I think when you go down on a girl that just got out of a shower, there's a distinct difference where you're like this is like this is just tastes like soap <laughs> you, you, you want it to taste like pennies it, 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 you want the pennies yeah this is like girl. I just said a swear yeah. at my grandmother's house you like know what Fidelberg puts a little French <laughs> dressing on there yeah. like, like in a battery set. yeah <laughs> I, how about uh, Sam Morrill and uh, who's the other guy who does the podcast with the, the, the drinking one? Mark Norman. Mark Norman. Norman. No, is it Norman? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were talking about how they like uh, like they like their women to have some like some musk to them 
And it was just two not cats me. that I did not under I did not expect that from them. They were like, I like a I like a natural smell. I'm that's like, what Final Park's saying, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like our show, I would get it, but like those guys, I didn't expect it from. All right. Anyway, uh, do you have the cards with you? You want to show? Yeah, them? I yeah. Have the cards. yeah. So yeah, yeah. show it to the people here. Uh, so also, are you this garbage? Is how garbage we are? We sell cards that don't come with a box. <laughs> it just I, comes cellophane, and I people will... are like, "Yo, what the fuck? No box." I'm like, first of all, the show's called Are You Garbage." Second of all, get a rubber band and be a fucking adult about it. Yeah, <laughs> you know I I Third will, of all, I, I actually, will... it's class to not have it in the fucking gar- the um, the Ziploc bag, the non Ziploc double top. Oh, you there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. When 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 I got my cards, I w- I was a little surprised that it was just <laughs> a, <laughs> literally a stack like, of cards. What did you think it was going to be? A gold case or yeah, something yeah, like that? I mean... It's not an Emmy. Like a new pair You're lucky of the card <laughs> showed up. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we have Do we have our answer to the internet over there? You had the box yeah. over there, right? Yeah, like we you know we had a box, fellas. Yeah, you we also have barstool fun. sports behind <laughs> you, jerk off. Oh yeah, look at that. There's probably a couple of golf balls in there too. <laughs> He's using a knife to get it off. Let me get my fork and knife. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, folks, the fork and knife come with the pack. So order today. <laughs> I can't, literally can't open that. <laughs> I've, never, I've never done it from a c- c- consumer aspect. I'm just the guy smelling. Also, yeah, for a box, it was like an extra three bucks, no, I think. Yeah, and I'm like, right, well, right. I, you know, that's on you guys. You figure it out. <laughs> Fuck. Now, some of them are the, in hold Russia. on, the one guy goes, some I'm actually... What? Some of them are in Russia. So. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy goes, I'm actually upset they, that they actually arrived. I wanted you guys just to rip us off. It would be, it would be so on brand. <laughs> Charge you for nothing. Also, there's a couple of spelling errors on the card. Oh, we have a bunch of them. We have got a bunch of those. Uh, see, we got look a bunch at that. of Where were you on that one, Barstool? Listen, listen, we, <laughs> that we makes a, it a collector's a item. Of, uh, we got a bunch of spelling errors and like slurs in ours. <laughs> <laughs> our, our Not here, folks. That's are you garbage. Slur <laughs> free. <laughs> our questions started like, you know, 10 years ago. So, so there are Yeah, it's a different, like, it was a different world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. So, what's the number one thing you you, you can do that makes you an F word? But so this is how many Italians do you let in your house at once? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So are you garbage? It's like the I, I've said it a million times every time these guys come on. It's the number one new podcast out there. Thank you, taking man. over. And because it's and and this, I mean, this was such a no brainer. I can't even give you guys credit for it because this was <laughs> yeah, so yeah, fucking yeah, obvious yeah, to do yeah. this because the series of questions you guys ask. There's there's. You can come up with endless questions about people's upbringings and childhood, but these are the ones that are like, you know, I, the real I do have a, pro- a, a bone to pick with you, though. Of course so you first do. First time it came, first day it came. Put your in. glasses down, and I'll accept your, <laughs> I'll accept your right. I'm sure it's a chicken wing I, bone. <laughs> the, you can't play it. You got to play it with a group or someone you're like not willing to fight with at any moment. I played this just me and my girlfriend one-on-one, and it was yeah. like, oh, you fucking, you piece of shit. <laughs> I don't think that's the card game, Feidelberg. Yeah, no kidding, couscous. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, so I beat my girlfriend up because she doesn't have a was, refrigerator that holds meat. It was yeah. like biting tongues. I was like, you can argue that's not true. I'll, I'll let you have it, I guess. It has been, it has, because so one of the rules of the game is uh, that it's majority rules. That's how the pot is too. Like it's if you can come up with enough of an argument to defend yeah. why you did something, you got to go okay. And it's kind of majority rules. So if you're playing okay. with five people and you're like, this is trashy, this is classy. If you can make an argument for it, th- you know, okay. then that can sway the got sway it. the vote. So everybody's yeah. game is a little bit different. Right, right, right. Okay. I mean, we, we but we, it we, has been causing people are t- like tweeting and like, dude, this is like this is causing fucking yeah, fights like, with like my in laws. Yeah, we were playing yeah. one on one. Don't play like with your in laws. Like yeah. we were fucking screaming. Like at we each just other. we just figured out the right answer to one of the questions that we've been going back and forth with for a year is do you keep butter on the counter? Yeah. And Palminteri, Chaz Palminteri gave us the right answer. It's yes. You do both. Oh, you yeah. do both. You one do, and you one. You keep both. one out on the counter, and you, he's like, I like it Never in the fridge. Never even thought of that. He, had, he answered every question as classy as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We asked him where so, he gets his hair cut. They're like, they, he's like, they come to me. I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck, of course. <laughs> come to the house. Of course I do. You're fucking Chaz Palminteri. You're sunny. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 uh, I don't, I keep my, my butter in the, in the fridge. My mom keeps it on the counter, and I love it on the counter. Yeah. yeah. But I just don't do it myself. I've never seen it on the counter. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah it's there's, just, there's just no Eggs reason on the counter. Fucking Eggs on Marty the counter? Marty keeps it in the Boy, bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you keep your bread? <laughs> Next no, to my corduroys. That's, no, that, that's, that's a real question, though, because you keep it somewhere weird, right? I keep it in the microwave. In the microwave, yeah. That's a are you People where do, do you that, right? you're you live in New York, I presume, right? Yeah. yeah. That's like a New York, that's an apartment thing in the is microwave. It, yeah, it's just because you don't have the like, it's a the space. 
No, I had the space. It just always was in there, but I, it's such a pain. Yeah, the the many times I've microwaved donuts on accident or something. Yeah. You go to microwave a hot pocket and you got fucking donuts in the back. <laughs> and you get to tie it It's fucking horrible. I ruined four <laughs> pairs of socks like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. Do, do your thing. Let's find out. I mean, let's oh, find man. out. I, I, let's phrase it like this. Let's find out how garbage Marty is. Because, like, yeah, I would like to get a couple garbage. preliminary questions yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to the gentleman if I might have the floor. I'd like to retain my time you on it. He can't even look at me. He's like, yeah. this guy's fucking something else. The teeth look great, though, Mark. I gotta give you that. Staring yeah. at you in the face. <laughs> They're great, dude. It is funny, I would have never though. guessed. Some people get them and they look like fucking Gary Busey. Yeah. They look yeah. good. Yeah. Nah, you're great. Yeah, they look good. It's man. funny having the rules. Like, we have rules to answer that too, and nobody plays by them. You just you get the deck out. Sure, it's yeah. like a drinking yeah. game. It's a fucking yeah. however you, however you yeah. want to do it. Right. Uh, Marty, I'm curious. Where are you from? Long Island. Long Ooh, Island. strike one. What was What was the name of the street that you grew up on? Avenue A. Avenue A? In Long Island? <laughs> yeah. It makes no fucking what sense. What the I've been, fuck? Avenue I've been to Long Marty's Island? house. Avenue it's a, it's a, it's a totally B, C, normal neighborhood. And it stops after Ronkonkoma? D. Yeah, Ronkonkoma. stops after D. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's a tough fucking one. trash, yeah. man. <laughs> Avenue A. you got a letter a name Long Island. in the burbs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No Pike, no Boulevard, no Lane, nothing like that? What Avenue do you think the classiest a. fucking one is? Place uh, is nice. And a circle. Circle is nice. Yeah. Way is pretty good. Way is pretty good. Circle's nice. Circle. Yeah. Yeah. You, you ain't from dinner. the circle, Mark. You get a good dinner at your friend's house and go to the circle. Yeah, that's where you go trick or treating on a circle. Yeah. Yeah. Marty used to look over the fence at a circle. Look at that. They got the whole thing, huh? <laughs> the whole circle. Not even a half. I look at cul de sacs like that all the time. Oh, man. man. Cul de sacs are unbelievable. Your family's driving around to look at nice cul de sacs on a Friday night. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> That was something we did when we were kids. We'd go to like cul-de-sacs and look at their Christmas decorations. Dude, we used to yeah. do that all the time as kids in high school. We would get stoned and drive around and look at nice houses and yeah, look at their Christmas decorations. I was a cul-de-sac kid. You were? Yeah, 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 yeah. Classy as fuck. New money. This New guy's money. not one of us. <laughs> um, Marty, what was the name of the grocery store your mom went to growing up? Meat Farms. This guy's trash. Yeah, meat Farms? <laughs> All right, listen, we've had a good time. Yeah. You guys are fucking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> April 20th, 21st, come and see. Yeah, we're going to be down in Raleigh and Zanies. This Did you trash. say Meat Farm? Yeah, yeah Meat Farm. Is, is there multiples of those? That or just like where Ron Swanson it's, fucking got his yeah. yeah, it sounds like a Sam Raimi movie or something like that. <laughs> sounds like it's in the back of a van, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yo, Meat Farms is out front. Get your cash. <laughs> Hey, it's Tony from Meat Farms. <laughs> I got the day old you asked for, Mr. Bush. <laughs> meat Farms. It's unbelievable. You could bring your chicken and get it sliced thin. So oh, you, you can? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a glass of champagne from Marty over here, please? <laughs> what the fuck? Bring your own chicken. <laughs> no, you don't bring your own chicken. Because don't you like your chicken sliced thin? I've never yeah. sliced chicken, though. Like because- chicken breast? Yeah, like chicken cutlets. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, what do you yeah. mean? I didn't well, know. I thought you meant like in a deli slicer. No, it's no, a guy. That's still oh, what it's I a think guy with a big ass knife. He wore an army hat. <laughs> he's, he's I like, like how Marty's dying scene. on this he's hill. Been there with yeah, he's got your knife. He's like, wow, I usually do with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Explain yeah, this to me. What do you mean? Like you you go there and you buy chicken. Yeah, and then you go to the guy with the army hat, and he's in the back, and he just I don't think he's a general. I don't think he's enlisted. <laughs> think he you mean the guy with the army hat? Yeah. Yeah. You meet Evan's the guy with one arm, no teeth. <laughs> He'll really cut your chicken nice for you. <laughs> 20 years, he always had the same hat, always was He there. didn't even work there. It was just yeah, I know. <laughs> Kid, hey, I told you five times. Get out of here, all right? <laughs> hey, buddy, where are you going with that chicken? <laughs> Holy mm. shit, God. Meat Farm. <laughs> now, is that a chain or? It's like a small chain. Yeah. There's a couple Not out there. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I think Whole Foods is buying them. <laughs> 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 That's the best answer I've ever heard. <laughs> Where's your mom go to the grocery store? Meat Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the Meat Farm. Just yeah, meat, it's farm. meat Farms. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there on Avenue, Avenue Z. Oh, <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, mean, I think we have enough <laughs> to <laughs> proceed. <laughs> Maybe one more, just, just to add a curiosity before we get to, to the cards, is uh, what would you get on your SATs? It's a loaded question. <laughs> it's a loaded question? Yeah. So the marinara sauce. <laughs> mine, mine, <laughs> mine was out of like, was was it, 2,400? Yeah. So the first time I got like a 1,400, pretty bad. Mm-hmm. But then I went back the second time and about 
It's a valid Victorian. <laughs> What's valid Victorian? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The number, the number one guy in your class. Yeah. It's not, it's not valid Victorian. It's not a person's name. <laughs> valid Victorian. Sure, that guy. <laughs> I thought it was valid Victorian. Too. <laughs> no, it's not. I got to get new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this whole thing's a setup. <laughs> Is this the guy in the army hat? Was he the valid Victorian? <laughs> so I sat next to him, and I went back in sections, and I got a 1950. Oh, nice. And Did then, you cheat off of him? But then, yeah, I cheat off him, but then they sent me, like, I had got to go to court. Like, they caught me. They're like, you cannot go up that many points. And they asked me to go to court. And my dad said, Sir, like, oh. what is the square root of 32? <laughs> uh. They're like, either you have to retake it and, like, show that you can do it. Fuck or that. Go Holy court. shit. I got lucky, boss. Who catches a case Whatever. on their SATs? <laughs> That's what I said. What the? Because <laughs> I didn't get it back. And my dad's like, oh, we're going to court. You didn't cheat. I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> dad, there's, there's no dad, dad, prove yeah. it. Yeah. No, it's, I, so I don't know how what I would have done in court. I cannot believe it's, like, a real thing. So what ended up happening? You, I you, took the zero. <laughs> I would have cracked in court, you see? So, <laughs> I can't do prison this time. Would've, this kid would have gave up everybody. You see his face? I'm too pretty. Yeah. I'm too pretty to go to jail. Holy shit. Well, the Go first on. time we ever got the answer of zero. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. It's tough. I, I, mean, even... I got caught cheating on my regents. They made me shovel. They made me weed whack with a shovel. It's brutal. What's your regents? Regents like a New York a New state York's, test. Yeah, ah, state okay, test. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah. asking. Why would the penalty be weed whacking? Yeah. They like, made me clean up around the school. Like, and I, like, they gave me a shovel just to weed whack. If you cheated on this test, like you're probably going to be doing some blue collar work <laughs> for your life. Like, hey, listen, we're doing you a favor, kid. Yeah, you might want to familiarize yourself with a blower. Marty also Marty owns a bird. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bird the people bird. are weird people. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, the, one of the yeah. best moments in Barstool history when he's a new guy. He was trying to like make waves and make a name for himself. Yankees playoff game. Everyone's at the old office. We're watching the game. Uh, and uh, who were they playing that year? The Yankee Sox. Red Sox. Sox. Yeah. So, so he comes all the way in from Ronkonkoma. He, he travels with this bird on a a broomstick. <laughs> and it, it perches it's on the scary. end. And he holds You're on, on the subway with the car? bird? I, uh, so, he's, so yeah. It doesn't fly away? It's tied. That's a good. Uh, see, thank you. I didn't know it flew because you. Could it's Marty's, but he doesn't know he can fly away. <laughs> I was live streaming once and it fucking. To be honest with you, smashed its head against the wall. It's unbelievable. You gotta. Oh I'll show it to you later. It's unreal. And anyway, the fucking elevator's like ding, and he steps <laughs> off, and he's like, like rally birds here, and the Red Sox were up like ten nothing. <laughs> it was the second inning, and the game was a fucking blowout. Fucking like, birds I'm here, guys, and it was like done. <laughs> See you later. It was amazing. Holy shit, you still have. The bird now? Look, yeah, there, there, there's, there's a bird. There's the bird. Oh yeah. Can we have volume on it? Is this the one where he bites him or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get some volume. <laughs> it, it almost breaks its neck on the fucking wall. The volume of it hitting the wall is unbelievable. <laughs> Rudy, Aww. right? Rudy's his name. Yeah. yeah, Rudy. I mean, yeah, you oh, got it. Poor luck guy. He, uh, you gotta slaughter this thing. He, he'll outlive all of us. They live for 85 years. I like how the broom you've chosen is the trashiest fucking broom <laughs> I have ever yeah, what are seen they in Quickies my life. Quickies or something like that, isn't it? Swifter. Swifter. Do you hear that smack? Yeah, That's the bird flying to the wall. Thud. Yeah. Give one, crown one molding, more time though. I'll give you that. You got some crown molding in the joint. Yeah. Listen, listen to the smack. Do we have the headphones and on the headphones? If you chase, you got the 11 o'clock slate. It doesn't stop. Ow! Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. oh, is he okay though? He's good. He's chilling. Right. He's chilling. You gotta get new teeth. Right. <laughs> Holy! You gotta get veneers. You gotta get a new beak. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's officially garbage. No, yeah, I'm the biggest yeah, garbage yeah, person. Yeah. Fantastic. You drink, milk with you drink milk with dinner? No, I don't. So? I'm not a big. I'm a. I like what cereal. I separate the milk and the. I don't like things getting saggy. Oh, he also uh, eats Oreos in the shower. Yeah, Wait, yeah, well, hold on. I'm sorry. You separate the milk and the cereal? Yeah, I like take a sit like a bite of dry cereal and sip it down with some milk because I don't like it getting saggy in the bowl. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> He's an agent of chaos. Oh man. my god! I feel like I'm in the upside down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yesterday that. I talked to Chaz Palminteri, now I'm talking to Marty fucking Mush. <laughs> Wait a minute, Marty. Did you do this when you were a kid? Yeah, I never, not once. Your mom was okay with that. <laughs> yeah, she. Just, Marty would get his bowl. She was too lucky. busy at the meat farm. <laughs> <laughs> and you would take it. I still do a dry cereal is king. Man, can I go grab a shower? Real quick? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, put a little water on your Oreo, you'll fucking love it. It's disgusting. That's insane. No, just, that's I've true. tried it. No, I ran right. it under the that's thing. Right. I've tried it. Yeah. I would just dunk it in milk. Yeah. Yes. Like a fucking <laughs> yeah. gentleman. It's just but, a better option. So you your your, for, your fork move with the Oreos was fucking That was legendary. banana. That was a game changer. Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. And then your fingers don't get cold. Because when I dunk, I'll put my <laughs> fingers in the fucking milk, man. <laughs> How cold's cold. your milk? You do it with yeah. your fingers oh. not getting cold. It's like to get the... What? What? 
You do that to not get the Oreo shit on your fingers. Not that your fingers don't get I, cold. I, there's a plethora of reasons. <laughs> yeah, also it breaks. It can break if yeah, you hold yeah. it too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when the filling gets though. hard and the, and the outside gets mushy, oh. good night. Oh. <laughs> oh. The like Oreo's the, tough to beat, I, I've been, You it know is. what's crazy? With the fork, I eat like triple the amount. I don't know if it's just that, like, I'll put down a box, oh, yeah, like yeah, a, whole, yeah. a whole case. Well, the speed, the there's more speed. Yeah, so you're just it's fucking easier. rifle and throw it. It's more efficient. It's time to check, catch yeah, exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 That's yeah. what I'm noticing more and more as I get older, that my self-control is is so off that, like, I can eat, like, a box of cereal yeah. in one shot. Yeah. And I'm getting yelled at for it. I can go through, like, four <laughs> yeah, or five. Yeah, the age. I'm, I don't know why I'm we keep blaming all these things fully. on the age. <laughs> as I get older. Well, the governor's going off. Dude, buddy, the governor's off. you noticed that... Double stuff, it does not have as much stuff as it used to have. It doesn't. Right? The Big Mac has gotten smaller, too. I'm fucking on these fuckers. <laughs> I, I it really has, I man. Think it, I think as, as uh, your America hands are has, getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I think as America has you know, got the obesity problem, they've started to sneakily change things. Yeah, they start to pull like, that I, back on I, that I was stuff. looking at the double stuff. I was like... Yeah, I, I McDonald's look, and Oreo felt real bad. Everyone's getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, listen, oh, guys, this one might be on happened. us. Let's take some Let me tell you what happened. I bought a box of fuck or whatever you call them, a bag, I guess, of... What is that? It's not really a bag. tray. It's not a, a tray of Oreos, and it had a purple, it had a purple thing, which is the double stuff color, you mm -hmm. know. But then it, it was regular Oreos, but it was like Lady Gaga brand or oh, some shit out like of that. Here, that. <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck!" Then I got regular Oreos, but I opened them up and I was like, "This kind of looks like the same amount as like double stuff." Mm -hmm. And then I got some double stuff, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, "There's, they're fucking around with the stuff." Something's Maybe going they increased the, the single stuff. Yeah, to make it look like the double it. stuff, right? And, then, and they did that before the mega stuff. And then the came mega out. stuff came. Out. I, I think. I think stuff. what it is. Oh, maybe that's a yeah. I think what it is is in order for them to like pass certain things with like the FDA, they had to pull it back a little bit because there was too much shit in there. Yeah, you know what, what I mean. Well, and then the mega stuff. Did you look These guys, up? he likes yeah. <laughs> just fat guy conspiracy theories. <laughs> Marty, I've been working this case for two years. Because I'm the conspiracy There I was outside of Oreo's he headquarters. I'm the conspiracy guy. Look up in an article and every go day. <laughs> He's got a triple B hey, balance out with like the three I Oreos. Check out my podcast. Hey, Joe, big fan. <laughs> Wondering if you want to get into the fucking Oreos. Yeah, man. Check out my podcast, The Oreo Effect. I can see you. Yeah, you pulling a stick like. So I'm Nabisco. Uh, I'm gonna watch Nabisco. I'm gonna, from... I'm gonna compare for you. I'm very deep in. Like Mr. Krabs is a scumbag. That's Who's like, Mr. Krabs? That's a conspiracy. This from is SpongeBob. Come on, his he's boss? too old for that. Yeah, I know SpongeBob. Say. You know you don't know SpongeBob. I don't. Know I know. SpongeBob. I didn't go to high school with him or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched. I enjoy the program. I like a Doug just as much as the next guy. <laughs> let's do. Uh, let's do. Uh, you wanna do some voicemails with the boys. Sure. Yeah. We're, we'll do a little... Uh, yeah. Let's rattle a few questions from Marty. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the uh, we'll do a quick couple here. Um, did your family use bacon bits? No. No. Bacon bits? Bacon gonna... bits? We have bacon bits in our apartment. Not mine. In your apartment Not now? mine, yeah. <laughs> That was, dude, I mean, the 90s, I'll give you a pass, but you're buying bacon bits in 2021? <laughs> I would say they're Did classy. they come with the apartment? Is bacon bits a brand? Well, like, like, well, I mean, the it's bacon. like band aids. Yeah. They're okay. So, like, we have a thing. I, I don't even of know what she bacon puts them on, chunks. But they, yeah, there's bacon chunks in like Is that gas. No, no, no. I mean, in, in my current bar? apartment. Yeah, not mine. Your lady gets yeah. bacon bits. <laughs> I think they're classy. You think class? <laughs> yeah. Wait, because you put them on an iceberg salad? Yeah, iceberg salad with a little red dressing, some shredded cheese. Well, you know what? Actually, that, you're making a good. That's no, a good case. stop. He just makes food sound good. That's his. That's his whole point. He is good at that. Yeah, he's good. If you go, oh, that sounds good. All right. No, his eyes I gotta, I gotta get you back in reality. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all have bacon bits in your pockets. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's good. Uh, did you use colored Christmas lights? Yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Big time. Are you Final Italian? Bird? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had color Christmas lights on thing. the tree, white Christmas lights outside. Right, that makes sense. White? I, I, the light, yeah, White's classy. White, right? white the white lights. lights are classy. The candle in the window, the, the yeah. single... You know what? I, I used to live uh, in Valley Forge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to do the, the bags. The bags, oh, that's as classy yeah. as it gets. The bags Beautiful. on the street. You got to get the whole neighborhood on the same yeah, page. Yeah, you know what? I think one year, like when we first moved, we didn't know what was up. And we were the trash from the Bronx. I'm came sure. Here. And we, it was like, they lights, must like, be Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like lights, 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 black. Yeah. Lights, 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 lights. I was like, oh man, no yeah. Christmas at this house. That's now they really do the bad. projectors. 
The lazy uh, people do the projectors. Uh, yeah, yeah, those things are pretty trash. Yeah. 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 That and the blow up the ornaments out on the lawn. Yeah, the oh, fan running. Yeah, you hear that going yeah. the whole time. You're like, what <laughs> the fuck? Garbage. I've yeah. never heard of the projector. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually I just moved to it. Oh, oh, I thought you said you, like, you would project lights onto a bush or something like yeah. that. Right? Yeah, yeah, they have oh, yeah, that. So like, yeah, instead, of, instead of like having to go up on the roof and do all that shit, you just have a little projector that you put in the lawn facing the house. And it and makes it kind of yeah, nice. it's it's trash. It's trash. I, it's really new money. money. I'd shit. burn that house down. I yeah. wouldn't even think twice about it. All right, I, would, oh. I, would, I wouldn't <laughs> even slow knock it down. Door yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just Christmas lights, Feidelberg. I will say this though. How about writing a letter to the homeowners guys, association? She's just <laughs> eating coke cuckoos, and he's gonna burn the bush. I will say that uh, as as like a, a a shitty dad, like like. Like when it comes well, we all saw your Christmas tree. You're fucking yeah. garbage. Go- but like, you use like a Mets beach towel to cover yeah, the bottom. That's a tough look. <laughs> but like, okay, full so size let's candles. Say, let's say in the next couple years, let's say I get a house or some shit that I've got to decorate, and you, you're telling me that I've either got to like hop up on the ladder with a fucking staple gun and like put the lights up there, or I could just like plug something in. And have the light. I would think yeah, you would yeah, be a light. Yeah, guy. I had a pretty good guess which one you. Yeah, would. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, come on. Do you even own a ladder? <laughs> No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've actually I been emailing. I don't leave the ground. I told you. <laughs> That's true. I've been emailing my super for the better part of two months now, being like, hey, can you come over and change lights? Is that a crazy thing to do? Because we have yes. like, high ceilings. I, I, I just can't get to my ceiling. Yeah, it's, I think to, it, yeah. to change in, in light bulbs in your apartment. Think, I think that's on you. Yeah, that's yeah. on you. So I mean, the, if you, I have to buy a ladder. Where the fuck do I keep a ladder? I got one. Uh, no, we just we did, we just had to buy one for the studio. It's like our only asset. I'm like that was sixty bucks. <laughs> you can, you Wait can, a minute, Final Bark. How high are your ceilings? They're pretty. Uh, you've been in the apartment. Ten they're, foot, twenty foot, twenty I say, foot. I would say what? they're. You live in like a, live a, a cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess twenty foot. Feet? What's an IHOP? <laughs> right, fifteen what? feet maybe. I mean, I can't. Twelve remember, feet. But, I mean, you, there's no I, way your New York City apartment has. Fifteen foot he's ceilings. A, he's a weird building. Though. I would say asking the super is okay if it's if it's over. Well, you ten gotta feet. grease them. It's, it's not his. Re- you'd be like, hey, I'll grease. Yeah. Oh for, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta grease them. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> grease your super gotta, for it? to change your light bulbs. I, yeah. Honestly, you'll, I, I, I even said like, you don't have to change them. Just can I? Is there a ladder in the building I can use? Uh, I, yeah, that's I'm, I'm not like come over and do it. It's like it is impossible for me to reach my ceiling. I cannot. Can't be done. I think though, I, I get what you're saying, but I think something in your apartment, I think kind of unless it's like a broken thing. Broken piece of he machinery. should have a ladder gotta, he can give you. Like, yeah. oh, like my super, yeah. I'll be like, hey, I need a ladder. But You're yeah, not the first guy to ask to change a light bulb over there. I can tell you that. <laughs> you, you know, this is only, this is only by the way, because his girlfriend is asking to fix him. Because otherwise, I know him, he would just live in the dark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, would, he would just, he would just use his little his helmet fucking, on. He would get <laughs> home and just turn on his iPhone and just like, yeah, I, oh, I've yeah. showered in like the dark many, yeah, many definitely, times. Definitely. I've moved out of apartments because the lights ran out. My brother, <laughs> my brother only showers in the dark. Own, like nothing like he says like there's more the of you <laughs> yeah, <he's>, <laughs> they are at least the one is one on there? one yeah identical one. Like, wow. oh showers with the lights off not like never ever has a light on why just loves the aesthetics <laughs> I, mean, I, I get that, that. I, I kind of like casual yeah, vibes I've, I've done dark showers before yeah. I got the red light in my bathroom I love that Ooh. why the why? heat lamp type thing? It's fucking there, Foley. What are you, developing film? What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> it's supposed to be one hour photo, you yeah. creep, but it doesn't really work. Yeah, if you ever want to sweat while taking a shit, we did some bathroom <laughs> decoration for you. <laughs> let, um, let, one more rip from the Are You Garbage card uh, game. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do one more. Uh, have you ever cooked bacon in the microwave? Yeah. yeah. For sure. It's the I, best, listen, man. It's the fucking best. I really best. have no sure problem with that. You, if, you get, if you get the right strips down to the right minutes, you it's... It's Delicious. perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's trash. <laughs> it's trash. And you can just dump it right down the drain. Can, can you? Can you at least? Oven is the best, though, right? Well, this is. I uh, to me, the, this He's is a debatable. Man. I'm a skillet kind of guy. I'm it's the pan not, guy. It's 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 fatty and it's it's rubbery and, and it fucking gets everywhere. The, everywhere. The, it gets the skillet's everywhere. the best way. The oven takes too long. I ain't got fucking preheat time on my hands. I mean, I'm trying to make some scrambies and hit the fucking bricks. But if you want to make it the best way, the best is the oven. It's, I, I understand. It's a it's a comp it's a it's a comparable solution. I'll give you that. Okay, fine. Hit yeah. The scrambies hit the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Much like that one. <laughs> Get some scrambies, scrambies and hit the bricks. Uh, All right, Am I the Asshole featuring Are You Garbage? A little A-I-T-I featuring A-Y-G. It's brought to you by uh NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, where they're here to tell you that trains can't stop. You hey, can Kevin, stop. I got a question for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's say uh, I'm a 32-year-old male, and I was driving, and I thought I could beat a train, but I, I, don't, I, I ended up getting in a little bit of an accident. Would you say I'm an asshole? I would say you are the asshole. The asshole. You would say, uh, so who's the asshole here? The guy driving the train who's on a track going a zillion miles an hour who can't move or stop? 
or the guy in a car who, who can just defeated. wait for like 10 seconds for a locomotive to pass by. You think you're tougher than a train? A, a fucking, fucking train? train? Yeah, really? You're faster than a train? A fucking Wait, what train? Are you, what are you? What are you? Spite a Superman? <laughs> faster than a speeding locomotive? No. So just stop. Think about it. The train is so fast that it's it could r- r- rail through you and kill you. That also means the train is so fast it's gonna be gone in like ten seconds. Yeah. It's so not just a... stop the car. Hop on your phone for thirty seconds. It's a fun time. Look at Instagram. Find a, a beautiful girl on social media. Listen to the podcast, Please. look up our tweets, whatever you do. For a mere 30 seconds, the train will be gone and you're on your merry way. There's one person on this planet, Earth, who's allowed to try and beat trains. His name's Dominic Toretto. If you're not Dominic Toretto, <laughs> fucking sit your ass in park, let the train go through. Yeah, no. I know. I can't believe that, th- that this is such a problem, that they need to have a podcast campaign. <laughs> you know? Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, you're uh, really, really running low on, like, society here, like, I'm really not not too high on humanity if we need these ads, but hey, we do. You can stop. The trains can't. So even if you think you can beat it, even if you, it's far enough away, you can't. Just stop and let the trains go by. The train can't stop about a mile after it hits you. Um, all right. Am I the asshole with the Garbage Boys and Marty Mush here? Um, all right. So I'll read through the scenario. You tell me, tell me whose side you're on. This one sounds like a doozy. 34 female. I jokingly agreed to let my boyfriend, 34-year-old male, no, 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 to let my best friend. So, 34-year-old girl agrees to let her 34-year-old friend, girl, give her husband a blowjob if he lost weight. Now he's lost weight, and I'm not so sure he knows that I was joking. (laughs) So, six months ago, we ended up discussing rewards that we could use to motivate ourselves. If I lost up to 10 kilograms. All right, so we're overseas, boys. (laughs) Isn't it? (laughs) Suck my peck, isn't it? (laughs) Who's Odie (laughs) Stan? Where's Bob coming around? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so she gets to go on a shopping spree if they lost the weight a week or uh, lost the weight or go away for a weekend with the girls, et cetera, et cetera. His ideas, on the other hand, were all sex based. Basically, his, his libido. <laughs> I just want to fuck someone else. It's sky eye. <laughs> Trying to fuck and, Foley's mom. <laughs> <laughs> it involves any I want to get me coke sucked. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing out a, a reward system like if I lose one kilogram, I get one blowjob. Now I don't know about the ladies on here, but blowjobs blowjobs are a firm no from me. I'm not a fan. Never been a fan. I won't become a fan. Although he's, she wants to fuck other people. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 sounds like best. a horrible relationship. How about a reward I want a new girlfriend? I just girlfriend. really hate dick. I, I, yeah. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He says, uh, at, she says, at best, he gets one uh, one per year. Maybe on your birthday. You know it's not a good one either. It's yeah. A, yeah. Uh, she, just, she, just, she just puts it in her mouth and sits there for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she, so she says, there's no way I'm sucking your dick 10 times if I lo- if you lose 10 kilos. Well, then in our group chat, my husband and my my best friend. She, I'm talking about. What fucking hell that must be. Also, a kilo a isn't that much. With your wife and say, her 10 friend. kilos is like three pounds or something. <laughs> Wait, really? I well, don't know. But it's the other way around, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who's on trial here? Get I'd, back to this dumb whore, will you? I, I would like to disagree. A kilo's a lot. <laughs> yeah, when you're 9,000 of them. In cer- certain circumstances, it's a real lot. It's a felony, as a matter of fact, to be honest with you. <laughs> kilos are no joke. They put you away for 20 years. <laughs> 22 pounds. Uh, what is it? 22 pounds. One what? kilo? Tw- no, ten, 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 kilos. 10 kilos is 22 pounds. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's easy to chuck, Jack. Well, fuck me uh, then. <laughs> <laughs> he says, quote, he wouldn't be so fat if I was willing to help. We joked about it for a bit, then basically said, so, best friend, if wife isn't prepared to help, how about you? If I lose 10 kilograms, will you help a mate out? She said, yeah, sure, but only if your wife agrees. I was like, sure, best friend. You can take one for the team as long as I don't have to do it, LOL. Well, I guess we know so where it's going So she won't here. suck his dick, and now she's going to get pissed off if somebody else will yeah. suck He just his wants dick. a Hummer, man. Yeah. That's yeah. All yeah. I'll tell cool you what this guy was. should do. I just suck this fat bastard's <laughs> yeah. dick and make This guy happy. should put on 30 pounds, dump this fucking broad, <laughs> and start dating the fucking best friend where he get his dick sucked without having a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right? Yeah, for real. Next case. I, I mean, <laughs> I can't. I mean, Yeah, I that's can't. an asshole move. That, to sum it up, that is a you're you're the ass. But all, I I also do have to uh to take this fucking prude bitch's side. Like, there's no this is not a serious thing. Of course, no, yeah. But you can't know, expect but your best friend, your wife's best friend, to start but, sucking your dick. But the relationship's the problem's over. There, the problem's before that. Yes. This guy's going. Hey, I just want a blowjob. Yeah. If I improve my life, yeah. can I have a blowjob? And she's, she's going like, no. Then no. he's going. Well, how about you? Like, right. it's just like the yeah, male brain anyway. takes over. You're like, will anybody blow me? Right. And he's going to get yeah. in trouble, too, because now that 
he's like, she's gonna be like, oh, you were gonna let her suck your dick. Oh yeah, yeah. she'll hold it over already, again. This relationship yeah. is over. Yeah. No, yeah. no yeah. fat Let's guy. Break up now. Yeah, no fat guy is getting is getting anything outside their relationship unless you're DJ Khaled. All right, <laughs> you're not just getting random dick sucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just doesn't work like that. Skinny always, and shape guys, they can maybe get away with that. Like, yeah, my friend I sucked his dick. It was like, hey, what do you mean? Yeah, oh, he's it, not getting his it, dick sucked. Is what you're asking. Fat guys, they don't get a lot of. A lot of rats? No. A lot of rats. No, it's all animals. Rats. Dog and rats. <laughs> Christ. What uh, finishing school did Marty go to? <laughs> Dogging her out. Rats? <laughs> Long Island Community. <laughs> Nassau Community College. <laughs> Mom, meet my new rat. Am I the, <laughs> yeah, basically, that's literally exactly how it happens. Am I the asshole for snitching on a coworker for spitting on a customer's food? I work at a popular training restaurant. Last Saturday was a stressful day. We were extremely busy. One of my coworkers, let's call her Tanya. Sure. Uh, she was totally a, her name. She was <laughs> in a, totally her. Name. Let's call, Let's call her, her by her government name, yeah. Miss Tanya Jenkins. <laughs> Social security so number. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was in especially bad mood due to the amount of customers assigned to her section. The issue started when one of her customers ordered ordered chicken strips with buffalo sauce on the side. Tanya was walking her tray of food out. The sauce dipped. The sauce dish tipped over, spilled some buffalo sauce onto her fries and baked potato. I'm guessing she didn't think it was a big deal to have the hot sauce on fries your Fries and baked potato? She brought it to the customer. <laughs> <laughs> what a... Holy's like, what establishment was this? That was fucking payday. I yeah. can carb load? Let's go. I'm going to need an address on this. <laughs> <laughs> Further that was a foley moment if I've ever seen one, man. The customer, fries and baked. The customer eventually called her back and asked for new fries and a new potato because she didn't want buffalo all over it. She was complaining about the spoiled people washing the food extra work. Uh, the cook makes a new food. Tanya was walking out of the kitchen, stuck her tongue out, and spit little flecks of spit all over the customer's How food. How do you spit with your tongue out? I kind of like, like a... Like a <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see that. That's a like real intention one. Yeah. Um, she said she was shocked. I was even more surprised she did it during a pandemic. Yeah, that's true. That's 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Non-pandemic, the- fair game. You go. <laughs> you send food back. You're rolling the fucking dice. I mean, I, I think, think I think that, that I've, I only have ever sent a dish back in my entire life. I won't. But if you fucking yeah. spill sauce all over my entire meal... He's like, hey, could you just not have done that? It doesn't matter. Here's here's the the correct answer. It doesn't matter what the problem was. We have a certain understanding. You you can't fucking be spitting in people's fucking food. <laughs> like we we're, were living in a society. Yeah, yeah you, you can't. Know? Yeah, for you lack never of, did it all your brother, years waiting tables, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Spitting somebody's food. But so many that's like do criminal. Do that. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, but don't you think it's after. done as often as like like. I TV it makes is. it seem. I think it is. No, no I, I don't think. I, think. I, I mean, like I've worked in restaurants. Never saw. Never saw. It? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, you work in a nice restaurant. You got to be a real. Well, I didn't fucking... know he could talk. This is... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No. Is he recording this? Yeah, what? <laughs> you got to be a real piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I you work in a restaurant, have a soul you know. And they're like, yeah. You I've, can't do that. I've man. done restaurants. I've done catering. I've done bartending. I've never considered fucking spitting no. in someone's No, I think she's 100% right to fucking dime her out. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that, that's that, fucking that is crazy. That is next level, like, deplorable behavior. Dude, a pandemic, a pandemic too. Yeah. Like, I think, I mean, I think at any too. point, it is, it is You're a piece not of shit. Allowed. You're a real fucking scumbag. Also, when people, in a barber chair or if I'm at, like, a restaurant, I'm not, you could punch me in the face. It doesn't matter. I will go with anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Largely with you, but I like don't if, rock the if boat. I like, I mean, like, if, look, if I got this d- tray, I'd eat it. I'd have no problem eating it. But if there was maybe a different sauce that got on like a food that I would like, it just doesn't make any sense. That food would be on that. That sauce would be on that food. I'd be like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't really want. Maybe, I'd, maybe I'd eat around it. I don't know. No, I've I never sent something like. back. But that would, I'd be like, because it doesn't even seem like that big a deal. Like, I'm not like, I'm not insulting you. It's that's the like, thing. What I'm saying, it's not on you. It doesn't matter what you complain about. That's that. That's what you the do fucking is you pivot line. and you go, oh, can we add a side of whatever? Like the, you're not replacing mm-hmm. it, so you get an extra side that yeah. you can eat. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. like, I'm not gonna eat the baked potato or the fries. You can go like, hey, can I get a side of fucking mozzarella sticks or whatever? There you go. You got you got your side and you it's, can move on. It's more classy to spit in someone's face than spit in their food, food behind yeah. their back. Right. He's like, do it to my face. Yeah. Let's like, do this. Yeah. We can have yeah. a fight. Say <laughs> fuck you. Get out or something like that. Curse him out and you lose your job or whatever. But doing that shit, that, that's that's opening up a real bad door. Let me just do one more here because this jumped out at me. I don't even know where it's going. My 20, me, my 25. All right. My, 24, my 23-year-old girlfriend of one year has become obsessed with proving that Phil Ivey, professional poker Shout player. Shout out to Phil Ivey, big fan. <laughs> was actually a professional NBA player. Oh, my God. I'm not really even sure where to start with this one. I've been with my girlfriend for a year now, and it's been a very good relationship. We never fight. We get along great. She's never had 
uh, something like this happen before, so it's bizarre. I don't even know what to say or where to turn. This all started about two weeks ago. We're both basketball fans, but not overtly. I would say I'm uh, of a poker fan, but I used to watch poker on ESPN as a kid. Uh, so one, Phil Ivey is a pro poker player who famously started playing casinos at 16 with a fake ID, and two, he never played in the NBA. I asked her who her dad's favorite player was because it came up the other night in the conversation, and she responded with Phil Ivey. I was caught off guard, and I said, the poker player? And she laughed and said, no, the basketball player. I said, I'm pretty sure Ivey is a poker player. I pulled up a picture of him and asked if this is who she meant. She said, yes. And I said, he's a poker player. He didn't play in the NBA. She kind of laughed it off and said, uh, and said she was sure of it. At this point, I kind of assumed she had a misunderstanding with her dad or something was wrong. The next morning, she happily showed me a picture of Phil Ivey in a basketball jersey. <laughs> oh, he did. Sitting at a poker table. Yeah, yeah, sitting at a poker table. And she said, see, look, you played in the NBA. At this point, I thought she was just trolling me or something <laughs> weird. So I asked her if she and her dad were running some sort of gag on me. She kind of got mad at me and said that it was her dad's favorite player and she knows better than me. So just drop it. I thought it was over, but then she's been using my laptop since hers broke. And when I went on today... I went to search something in Google, and the last seven searches were all variation of Phil Ivey NBA. <laughs> she doesn't seem mad now, but she talks constantly about how she knows he played in the NBA. I showed him her his Wikipedia page. She keeps bringing it up. Uh, he does. <laughs> she's now obsessed with proving that Phil Ivey is in the NBA, trying to find some sort of evidence of. I mean, girls are the fucking. So, <laughs> I mean, I just God that. damn. I how does that. God like, continue damn. after one single Google search? Like, oh yeah, that's just up. it. Like I could tell you, my, my, I could tell you my dad's favorite NBA player is Larry Bird, but but like, well, largely I couldn't tell you my parents' favorite sure. anything. And mm -hmm. if you were to say, I don't know who my dad's favorite player is, or I just got it wrong, I messed it up. Why would you get Cause, so cause fucking dedicated to be like? They can't be I, and also, at like, what point are you like? I'm the the whole internet's wrong. I do know what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. Like, like one Google search, I'd be like, oh yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, Never mind. yeah you that gotta be in some sense. like Truman Show yeah. shit where you're like, no, the world's like conspiring against of course. me. No, 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 I'm well, right. Well, if you Phil Googled the NBA. If, if say Phil Ivey was in the NBA, yeah, well, I'll, you know, some there would be a picture of him like Playing you know shooting or fucking dunking or something. They're all him at a card table wearing a basketball jersey. And people who are in the NBA. Don't wear basketball jerseys around when they're not on the court. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not in the fucking supermarket or the fucking meat farm getting James their fucking cutlets back. done yeah. Yeah. wearing their own jersey. I think so. I think like Alex Caruso, who you don't know <laughs> he if he might, is he one. Yeah, yeah, he should yeah. wear one. I mean, it's fun convincing people, though. Like, I convinced my little cousin Carlos Delgado was my cousin. <laughs> and it's like one of the best things to really find more facts of what it could go to in your favor. That one was tough, but I made it work. He still thinks? Marty's got a lot of time on his hands. Yeah. <laughs> and something something a tells me Marty's cousin's not too hard to fool, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, if you're coming from the Mush family, you're an easy target. <laughs> Uh, let's get into our voicemails along with the gang. It's brought to you by Revitalite. Uh, we've got a brand new flavor of Revitalite here at Barstool Sports, and I'm proud of us because anytime I used to drink sports drinks, energy drinks, uh, uh, recovery drinks, everybody knows that the blue flavor is the best flavor. And along comes Barstool Sports. We're going to make our own uh, flavor of Revitalite. What do we do? We make the blue one. So That's everybody... I mean, you see when you, flavor, facts is facts. If you're at if you're in a place, you see a freezer, you see a, a fridge with a bunch of drinks, a bunch of different colors. You grab the blue one, mm -hmm. and the blue one is now Barstool Sports. We've got the uh, berry berry blast. It's called berry. Uh, um, we got the black label. It's called so Revitalite black label. Classy, classy, high, high. Are you garbage if you drink anything other than the the black label Revitalite? You are garbaggio. So be all all high society, all high falutin. Get that black label Revitalite. It pairs delicious with uh, your, your your nightcaps and maybe a little bit of snack. You can mix and match that with your drink. You can drink it for your hangover. You can drink it for while you're drinking. Hydrate while you enjoy yourself for the night. Uh, or you can just drink it straight because, honestly, it's just a delicious drink. So make sure you get the Revitalite Black Label brought to you by Barstool Sports. You can pick up Black Label in-store or online at the Barstool Sports store. And right now, if you tag us or tweet at us with at drink Revitalite in the morning after or on your stories, we'll repost you and uh, you can show us rehydrating with Revitalite. Uh, once again, go to the Barstool Sports store and buy the Revitalite Black Label. It's the new uh, Barstool Revitalite flavor that has 33% more electrolytes than the original product. So our Barstool shit is even it's even more hydration and more prebiotics for maximum recovery and the perfect complement for when you're uh, a little rough and rowdy. Let's do a couple <laughs> voicemails with Marty and the Are You Garbage guys. I'll just play these. I, I got to come through the TV. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Beautiful. 
How do I look, Nikki? You throwing at me. Good. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Yo, KFC fights Nick Jackie. Uh, would you rather have no feet or not be able to tell the difference between elderly people and children? Boy, Viva. boy, we're throwing the boys to the fire on this one. This <laughs> oh, is shout one out those... to Marty's brother for calling in. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Mikey Mush. <laughs> no hey, feet. Hey, would you rather it was? You either have no feet. Yeah. This is this one. This one is. Can we? Can this we is ease this into is with a little bit. This maybe? is crazy easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have my answer right away. Right yeah, away. Me too. Well, I'm not I'd, losing my feet. I'd, yeah, I'd rather because I I treat elderly people and children the same, same. way. I'm, I'm not trying to fuck violence. either one of them, so I don't, it doesn't matter if I know who's who. Yeah, what's as long the, as I know what an adult what's is. What's the I'm advantage? Fine. I don't really. I, I like to fuck with both of them too. Like, yeah, the, like I'm to, annoyed by them and I talk to them. Like I this. think That's that about, I'm, like it doesn't matter. Whatever I'm you are, superior well, like, to the, both of them. There's another. Yes. There's another <laughs> similar type question. So I'll throw. Would you rather have no feet or you can't tell the difference between a baby and a donut? So sometimes you go to eat oh, a man. donut and it's like yeah, I can cut out baby. donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I can yeah. cut out babies. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna lose his feet anyway. <laughs> I only got him. I'm really lighting the fat jokes on, but we're like we're like two hours in. Come on, I mean I'm only I only got so much in me. <laughs> Put that up front. Let that be the teaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w- I wouldn't want to lose my feet. I, <laughs> well, I guess I gotta run. Eat some salad. I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> what if I gotta run from a cab again? What if the I cab got... driver's a baby? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got no feet and I can't tell who I'm ripping off. <laughs> Man, that was a weird question. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> what go. What the fuck are you guys doing over here? <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, on one of the recent pods, you guys were talking about that AT and T girl who's like a smoke show, but she's wearing sweaters. Um, and we were laughing so hard, and it got me thinking: Would you rather look really good in like a terrible commercial for like constipation or something like that? Or would you rather look really bad but be in, like, a sweet luxury commercial like Lincoln or one of those perfume coming out of the water beach sexy ads? Mm. Um, Yeah. (laughs) So, like, real hot, bad commercial or real ugly, sweet commercial? Uh, Viva. Now, I mean, there are those people who are, like, you know, doing commercials for, like, herpes and stuff like that. Where it's like you're trying to become an actor and you take what you can get, but you're, like, the face of fucking cold sores. Uh, Those pay good money though. That, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm also assuming I'm thinking here these nice commercials would be ones that are getting run a lot, and you're yeah. You're, so you're you're all over the place. Like the commercials are, are you see them all the time, and it's like oh you look terrible in that one. I look terrible now. Period. So like yeah, yeah, I'll take the fucking yeah. looking good in so, anything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I oh see, I look terrible now. I'd rather so I would be, take the, yeah. I'd be like look, I know what I look like. Oh, right. I own right. fucking mirrors. Like I think yeah, yeah, there's yeah. not if you like photoshopped me and put me in this fucking nice commercial. I would just know like that's not what I look like, and then I would just be disappointing to everyone else. Like they'd be like, yeah. like I'd I'd meet some girls like, oh, you're the guy from the commercial, and we'd meet on Tinder or whatever. And I'd show up, and she'd be like, that's no, that's not what you look like. That's not yeah. at all what you look like. Yeah. What, what, what's the I worst? I just live life trying not to disappoint people, and that's if I just had the guess what you are, if you're I, I, at, my friend. <laughs> uh, what what is the worst commercial you could be in? <laughs> worst? Well, you you've been in some commercials, no? I've been in some. I I thought I was in a porn at one point. That was in a porn. I thought it was. I, I went in to play... That's what I, the ad said. <laughs> <laughs> I played something on the History Channel. I didn't know what it was. I said yes to it. I used to lie on resumes to get places. And you? I, really? That's just a resume like you're describing. Yeah. Yeah. I used to no, lie used about to my job, about too much. history to get a new Who jobs. did you play on the History Channel? It was uh, like the real life of like Stranger Things. Like they used to, Our government used to fucking whack kids with no families, and they used to stick them with things. I was that guy. Talk about the role you were born for, Mark. <laughs> the weird thing is, there was, was no also, cameras. Was in, uh, was and my in, bird told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking in, son of Marty over uh, here. House of Cards? Yeah, House of Cards. Ah, oh, nice. Was, okay. Before, he, before the bad stuff. Yeah, well, sure. you know. Well, before well, he knew reason, about the bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the bad stuff was going on. Well he's the reason that. I'm here, too. Yeah? Yeah, that's the reason why I got like an interview. Because I told he yeah. asked me how I peel my bananas. I just sometimes. Who start, asks you how you peel your bananas? Kevin Spacey. Talking, I'm just like I can't. Anymore. Kevin Spacey he asked you how asked you peel you your bananas, you pe- and then that got you to Barstool. Yeah, that's what my put in my email. 
<laughs> Kevin Spacey once asked me, it is really easy to get a job here. <laughs> what do you, you guys have an HR department? What no, the yeah, fuck? The have you, you ever had a grapefruit <laughs> to work here? Yeah, I, we did Barstool Lytle for a couple years. What was it, Make a Wish or something? And basically, I remember. <laughs> gra- gra- now, granted, he got lucky because we knew gambling was going to be legalized. Com- that was coming down the pike. And like, and Dave was kept keeping an eye on him because he wanted this whack pack of idiots who gamble. It was like, perfect. But I was on like the panel of judges, and I remember being like, how the f- what the fuck is this guy gonna do? He was like, "Yeah, my name's Martin. I uh, I don't know what I do." <laughs> He's like, "I'm uh, me, I'm unlucky." You told me if we hire this guy, he's gonna steal our laptops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. That's a home you run. Said yes. You said yes, yeah. so I don't care. <laughs> Marty I made my good hand on, on my promise. cell phone this whole time. <laughs> It looks accurate. like he's got sticky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be the worst commercial? Like, you know, constipation, cold sores. Uh, but do you, like, remember those? Preparation like, H. I, like, I wouldn't, like, recognize yeah, that. was all, yeah. Sure. I well, wouldn't be able to recall any of that. I, I feel like it, it, within your circle, you, like, I don't think you would walk into a place and someone would be like, hey, the Preparation H guy. But your friends would yeah, be like, hey, Mr. Hemorrhoids. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mind about that. Like, if it was, like, an ointment, I would do an ointment, a cream. A... <laughs> but if it's, like, I herpes, I would have to be like, I got to talk to my I fucking I don't like mom. the way you say I'm ointment. not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to anybody. If it's a national fucking spot, I don't Cashola. care if it's fucking come on my face juice. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is. That'll be on the Are You Garbage Patreon. <laughs> yeah. I'll shove a fucking Snickers bar up my ass if I'm getting fucking union rates on a national spot. What are we doing here? <laughs> coming out of a pandemic. Would you rather uh, make it to the point that you're like selling out Let's say theaters. Sure. Not arenas, but like you're selling out like theaters, the Wilbur, that kind of shit. Or you get to be like uh, in a, a serious commercial. Like we are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. One of those that is going to I don't want to do I would. Like I, that's, that's a running that. thing? You mean like yeah, that would, one of those you would be like, the, you'd be like Flo. Right. 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 Or, right. or Mayhem. Yes, mayhem. Yeah, mayhem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had him on here once. He was. Uh, we had J.K. Simmons, who, who is farmers. He's a little I bit. I said, would you rather give up? You have to lose one. Your Oscar? Or the farmer's commercial. And he was like, throw the fucking Oscar, Oscar in the garbage. Yeah, He's like, yeah, I yeah. get money yeah, off that no shit. shit. Yeah, no shit. That's awesome. So, yeah, but, but, you know, your dream as a comedian? Yeah, it would be, it would be theaters. Because there's fucking crazy money there. And it's also like you're doing what you, I get to do. That's yeah. like my dream. So you're like, hey, would you? Yeah, that's my yeah, dream. Yeah, but so yeah, also, on a serious note, anything, anything that. Money you make on that, that farmer shit. But anything that generates an audience is, I, I think, is worth, yeah, better, is worth yeah. more yeah. than that. I mean, like, I'm probably with you. Yeah. I don't think, I mean. Everyone needs insurance. What are you talking about? How you gonna drive, you, how you gonna drive your car, Foley? How you gonna drive your car? Huh? What if something happens to the bird? Who's gonna pay for it? Who's gonna pay for the bird? I'm serious. Who's gonna pay for the bird? Um, I could be wrong, and I could be talking out of my ass here, but I don't think Flo can like show up at fucking the Gramercy Theater and pack it out. No, no, of course not. But she's got right. cash. Just for, sure, I, it's just a money thing. I'm not talking. Yeah, obviously the the prestige and whatever is. Yeah, is, no, I would do the I would do the the theater. The theaters. Yeah, 100%. the money in theaters is you'd be surprised. It's yeah, fucking. Yeah. No, I'm not cash. surprised. I just, yeah, 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 I get it. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do one more. Took a very serious tone there. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you guys make last year? <laughs> <laughs> Final voicemail of the day is brought to you by Truff. Get that sauce. Okay. I I'm, got not, hot I'm gonna be honest. In my bag. Stop swag. Stop saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> John has been fucking quoting Beyonce no, and Hillary Clinton. I, I, I don't. It's not, it's not Beyonce's line. It's, it's, it's Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I will be fully honest with you. I'm gonna let you know. I thought. I was not going to like truff. I, I have said before that I don't really like truffle flavored, but I was like, hey, I'm grateful that we have this new sponsor. And a lot of people out there do like truffle, so I'll gladly. And I know that it's successful and it's classy and it's got the nice packaging. So I was like, you know, maybe I don't like it personally, but I have no problem endorsing it. And then we tried it because, you know, it's a sponsor. We give to world. And I was like, oh, shit. It's actually I was really, really, it's good. really good. Actually, you know what? I really usually, usually the, the truffle taste is not my favorite thing in the world, but when you mix it with the hot sauce, it gives it just an extra bit of flavoring so that you're not just drinking, ooh, okay. I forgot I had some sandwich left over. What do you want? Which one do you want? I want Come the, around uh, so the camera, you're not blocking the camera. Sorry. We've got the uh, white truffle infused, the black truffle infused, and then the white, the black truffle with hotter. So there's, there, these two are hot, and then the, uh, the hotter black. sauce. Hit black on me. Yep, there you go, bud. I mean, it is... Uh, this is and this is on a barbecue chicken sandwich. Oh yeah, baby! It's gonna, gonna have some delicious. kick to it. it. Comes in these nice 
classy glass bottles. Comes in a nice uh, case, almost like mm. you're buying like jewelry or Woo! something. Woo! <laughs> it's got the kick to it, but also uh, has a nice flavoring. So I'm just letting you know. Cool. Uh, you I'm being real about this. it. I did. This is, yeah. this is yeah. a serious pour. <laughs> Listen, when, when it comes to trough, you know, I ain't no slouch. You're going to get a healthy serving. You can put it on all sorts of food, sandwiches, uh, uh, appetizers, meals of any kinds, chicken, fries, all of it. It's American made. It's from Southern California. It's uh, got over 10,000 five-star reviews. It's the number one best-selling hot sauce on the internet. It's, it is the real deal. It's really, high class. Really good. Again, you, uh, again, you want to you wanna talk, uh, are, are you garbage? You're garbage if you're just eating some just generic watery hot sauce. You are class. All class if you're ordering Truff. And right now, when you use code KFC, you can get 15% off site-wide plus free shipping at Truff.com. T-R-U-F-F.com. Promo code KFC for 15% off plus free shipping. When was the very first time that you remember um, your parents, a teacher, some kind of authority figure who was much older than you telling you something and you just kind of immediately knowing that they were full of shit. So, for example, when I was in, like, third or fourth grade, uh, there was some kind of real nasty kidnapping or something that happened what? in North Jersey, and my school bus got pulled over on the way home and through a checkpoint. You know, the cops came on the bus, you know, checked everything, made sure it was okay. I asked my mom when I got home, Why'd they do that? And she told me they were searching for someone's Christmas presents. It was like early mid December, and I just I knew that that was absolutely incorrect. So, you know, what was the first time you remember just being downright lied to, and you figured it out Bro, later? Yeah. What a wild journey we just went. Yeah. Sounds what like his mom's in the Gambino <laughs> family. I don't look at presents, and, and I think moving. she's a suspect. <laughs> yeah, like like there's some there's some poor kid listening to Case or Radio at home being like. That was my cousin who was kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. North Jersey, 1999. Thanks for bringing we never that up, saw buddy. Him again. <laughs> Sorry about your Christmas presents. <laughs> when was the when was the what was the time that you knew your parents were lying to you? Without my mom. The, kidnapping is basically the Christmas the presents remind me that my mom didn't care. Like my mom didn't like you know my parents hide Christmas presents. Sure. She'd be like, they're in the closet. If you yeah. want to ruin your own Christmas? That, go ahead. that checks yeah. out. I found <laughs> out real early. <laughs> I would have 100 percent ruined my oh, own Christmas. Oh, I went every yeah. time. I'd be like, all right, I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom and I just walk into a room, go in the closet, see what I got. Wait six months. Until I got it gifted to me, she was right. It ruined it. It sucked. Sure. <laughs> My mom always lied to me because I always wanted a younger brother because I'm the youngest. And I, from a young age, I always asked her, "Why can't we have a younger brother?" And she said, "Because I had a shot, and I can't have kids anymore." Wow. Yeah, shot. My aunt blew that up one day driving down to the shore. She's like, "A shot? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know, there's no such thing she as had, a like, shot, Henry." Her, yeah. like, what do you mean? Are you lying to him? <laughs> I'm just crying in my bathing suit, like, eh. <laughs> crying in my. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's exactly yeah. what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's like, no, your mo mom and dad just didn't love each other. <laughs> <laughs> no way, we're bringing another one of them, and it is. If you want to fuck them, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like when I got like, I don't know when I remember. I don't. I, just I choose, yeah, I don't, like, yeah. I choose what I want to believe, though, and make myself believe it. That's oh, the yeah. thing. Like, Picked I up on like, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I live in my own world. Yeah. I don't know what's going on besides Marty's world. Welcome to Mardyville, everybody. <laughs> Mayor me. Yeah, that's literally it. Yeah. I don't really. Avenue yeah, 19 in Marty's world. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I used to get furious. That like when I went to unfold my like when I put on pants, a pair of pants, that the it would be buttoned and zippered, and I'd be like I have to undo the button, un undo the zipper to put on the pants. Mm -hmm. And I went downstairs and I was, oh, like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? Not fuck, but like, what the hell is this all about? Why are my pants buttoned? Who's doing this? And then my dad went, well maybe it's easier to fold that way. And I went, well, it's you, you son of a bitch. And like, well, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and, my, and my mom just went, Ooh, what are you, William there. Barr? What the <laughs> fuck? <Yeah. going> <laughs> Little kid screaming like, at his dad with his hands. It's like, right. you, you son of a bitch. I was like, all right, clearly it was you then. And just walked away. And then my mom was like, yeah, he kind of got you there. You walked into that one. <laughs> so what I guess he, he wasn't really outright lying, but he was trying to deflect. And I, you I, I wasn't having it. It was also like, you little ungrateful piece of <laughs> yeah, shit. I'm absolutely. the motherfucker folding absolutely. your jeans. You're coming down here bitching. <laughs> A pair of like Paco jeans with the yeah. fucking uh, the band up top and shit. He's like, 
I had like three buttons. I would have fucking beat you. I would have just beat you senseless if you were my son. God damn it. All right. Well, to all the garbage at the table here today, thank you for coming. Uh, Marty this was Mush, fantastic. You are guys, thank you. We're in Nashville. Yeah, we're heading out to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina on the 20, on 420. We'll Boy, be what at, are the next Tuesday? Like on the road. We'll be at Raleigh. Good we're going to find out. Week. This is the first, f- oh, first kickoff of the oh, tour. Yeah. Yeah, 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 first yeah, two yeah, shows yeah. of the tour. And then, Wait, uh, you guys have been. You know, yeah, we've been on the road. Together, yeah, yeah, of course. But, yeah, but yeah. so the live shows are going to be like we're going to do some stand up, and then we're going to close out the show together, cool. like playing AYG with the audience. That's because oh, everybody that's wants awesome. to ask yeah, their questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we're going to be you know See, shitting on everybody. That's what we you know we we try, we dabbled in live podcasts a little bit, and I think we uh, we haven't figured out exactly what form we want to. We didn't want to just do the pod so not, kind of. Yeah, we didn't want to sit there and do the pod. We'd rather make it like an interactive thing. That's a great blend of the two. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So we'll be in Raleigh and Nashville next week. Four twenty, four twenty one. Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. Available. Probably good nights. April twentieth, next Tuesday, and then Zany's Nashville the next night, Wednesday, April twenty first. I am, I'm we'll assuming on there. social you can see. Yeah, come see social. Comedy, Go check out the pod. Please. Please. Garbage on Twitter. Yeah. You can find the links to buy the tickets. We'll put it out on their own social. Network. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. And, this uh, is you awesome. Know, Marty Mush. I'm going to be in Nashville, too. So. Really? Yeah, oh, Mush, come through, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Mush and the Garbage Boys. Hit the road. <laughs> I would love to have Mush. Really? What are you doing in Nashville? The bird. I'm doing something with LeBron James. Oh, yeah. LeBron James. Yeah, yeah he's classic. Are you really? He's unbelievable. That's awesome. How'd you, how'd you track him down? <laughs> he liked one of my things, so I just DM'd him. He's like, yeah, wow. Man. Did he say LeBron James? LeBron. LeBron, LeBron James. I was like, we're all playing it way too cool that he's hanging out with fucking LeBron <laughs> yeah, James. Wait a minute. <laughs> and you guys are like, oh, he reached out to you finally. <laughs> he's actually- I'm like, what the? F- I know Barstool's big, but Mush shouldn't be hanging out with the fuck with, with LeBron James. <laughs> he's actually my cousin, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we're cousins with Delgado. I can't wait to see Mush with a couple of Bud Lights in him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, man. boys. Great stuff. Thanks, hey, you thanks guys. guys. Thank you. All right, big thanks to the Are You Garbage Boys and Marty Mush. Uh, go check out the boys if you're down in Nashville. We'll tweet out all the links on April 20th and 21st. That does sound like a cool show. That's like a. That's that's I, I'm, we got to figure out our like live podcast. Do you do you able to do like stand up and then do your yeah. podcast gimmick? It's an awesome show. So go check them out and listen to that idiot Marty on all the fucking things he's on. <laughs> Get out of here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and the podcast. Rate five stars, all that good shit. Or your grandma's good that tomorrow. You doing, Vince? Oh, I'm just watching a little KFC radio on YouTube. Are you subscribed to our channel? Nah, it's not my thing. I don't. So you're watching the videos, but you're not subscribed. Yeah, I love you guys. But not enough to subscribe. I don't know where the button is. It's... Do what you do. Fucking subscribe! Kevin, hammer, hammer, hammer. Fucking subscribe. Fucking what happens to your fucking laptop? This will be new to people who don't subscribe! Ground and pound, ground and pound. Fucking subscribe. I need a new laptop!